funny, right? No, it's not fucking funny. Now shut up. Grocery shopping, tips. Meal with my wife, tips. Coming up, my day off on Tuesday, tips. Nintendo Online, tips. Bills and stuff, tips. Tips are the liquidity of my business. Grocery shopping, tips. Meal with my wife, tips. Coming up, my day off on Tuesday, tips. Nintendo Online, tips. Bills and stuff, tips. Tips are the liquidity of my business. Huh? This one's for all my baby girls. Blow that song. All right, here we go. Dragula. This song was so popular. Superstition, fear, and jealousy. Sipping through the trees, strangling the breeze. <laughs> then I am the sky, watching angels cry while they slowly turn conquer. That being said. 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 Hello, hello. This is Phil, Phil Burnett, all right? And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said, big ups. That being said, Rich Vest is podcast best. That being said, relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said, Rich Vest is podcast best. That being said, Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T Insight, the legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Ski to the dead. Psychological style food. Me or cat. Artistic style food. Tap bean set. Vest is podcast best. Tap bean set. Which vest is podcast best? Everyone, we are here. It is that being said, the Sunday show. And I need to add piece of piece image there again. But as you can see, Samuel's not here as indicated with the black and white. But I promise you, piece of piece here. Piece of piece, could you please say something so they know you're alive? Hello. <laughs> There he is. Also, we have the legendary creative style host, Meerkat. How you feeling? Hi, I'm here. And please let me know about how to vote, the, the levels and all that nonsense, because I'm in the controls. As you can tell by, we're starting at 11.47, so great. Uh, do have to mention, though, Steve of the Dead is not here as well, doing some stuff with his back. Hope he's doing well. But we do have the, the robot here, Robo Steve, of course. Let me break her out of the closet here for a second. Let me break her out here. Hold on a second. Oh, my God. Something has happened with Robo Steve, and uh, I, I don't know what we should do, Meerkat. Can you see what happened to Robo Steve? Um, not yet. Hold on. Okay, please let me know what Still you think of this. Unveiled. I pulled it out of I pulled it out of the closet. Oh, for this! Oh my lord! And something has happened. It's atrocious. I did not expect this to happen. I'm so sorry, everybody. We wanted to be joined by Robo Steve, but you know what happens when a certain someone. Deals with electronics oh, no. and things like this. Oh no, <laughs> this is this is a mess. We'll we'll figure out what to do with that. Sorry, Steve, you got to sit there in limbo for a while now, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, welcome everybody. Sunday show, of course. Legend, piece of piece. How you feeling today? Yeah, I'm good. How are you guys? It is good. Nice to see you. We have been saying for the last few weeks that uh, things have calmed down. The kind of the the glow of the interview is now over. Now we're kind of in the, the dog days of, of April as it is. Kind of boring these days. Writers not really picking up their game. But what are your thoughts on the recent DSP uh, world? 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's boring-ish, but uh, you know, you need you need waves of boring DSP to fully appreciate the uh, instances of crazy shit happening, I suppose. Very true, very true, very true. And uh, we're going to get into the nonsense of the week for sure. Um, do have quick business style announcement. We are going to fully uh, open up the turnaround contest, which has now been done to be called the tournament, which in which you have to do your best to portray the Project 7 turnaround in whatever fashion you see fit. All the details will be on next Sunday because uh, we want to edge you on that as long as we can. But that should be pretty hype when Sam and Steve are back. And uh, that'll be pretty cool. So that's going to come up next week. But let's get into the nonsense here. Uh, you know, piece of piece. We don't need to hear his backstory, all that nonsense. You all know. Legend, blah, blah, blah. Spreadsheet, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. So I'd like to start. Um, do we want to go right into yesterday, I guess, is the is the, is the the uh, logical way? During the week, there was not much. Um, just the normal midlife crisis stuff. Like, there was a new, there was a new viewer. And, uh, of course, he hopped on. The viewer was, like, sucking his balls. Like, I saw you from all this negativity, but you're really positive. It's great. And then, oh. of course, DSP takes an hour to say, oh, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I meant. Then the next fucking day, the dude's like, uh, you just banned someone. So uh, I was going to give you a chance, but now I'm out. So that went well. Um, uh-huh. As usual. <laughs> that, as usual, new viewer finding DSP. I think, it. I mean, really, if you can watch for more than 10 minutes, I think there's already something wrong with it. You should probably get help. But that he lasted 24 hours is cute, at least. So good job to that viewer that lasted 24 hours. Uh, um, I, I yeah. don't think he was that new anyway so I think he was a sock because then we had a rant about socks in chat because all the <laughs> there was a bunch of Baxters that got banned and as you know oh. Baxter is like the, the meta for sock names currently oh yes oh yes Baxter how could you dare mention Baxter yes. I actually do think that the overwhelming majority of this kind of like viewer shenanigans are sock accounts at this point I do think that there was a time you know even semi recently where you know some idiot can just like kind of wander in and be like well you're you're not so bad after all but i i don't know i feel like those <laughs> days of i feel like those days are gone man yeah. honestly <laughs> yeah that's what makes it all the funnier when phil says like we're hoping to get some growth uh really hoping that you know growth happens yeah, on the you react getting channel. Shit, dude <laughs> the fuck up man i think it's a it's a pretty efficient trolling tactic uh if you want to larp to just uh, start, like like you said, sucking his balls, and then mm. two days later say, "Hey, Phil, you, this these streams they're not actually that meaningful. They're not actually that fun. You, you're toxic constantly, so I'm leaving. I'm gonna go watch <laughs> Maximilian, dude. Actually, that would be that that would. I mean, he already kind of does this, but that would solidify the fact that he doesn't trust anybody. Oh like, yeah, ever. If if like if you're not. If you're not someone who's been around as long as like Das Bullshit or you're not as fucked up as like Jade or something, mm-hmm. then you're you're immediately not a real person to him. I feel like he does have that persecution complex already. So, uh, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it, it, and what, what I like, who is I always say this. I was talking about last week, too. Who is Phil talking to? You know, like when he says all this nonsense, it feels like he's talking just to direct to detractors like. That's it, right? He's talking about like how, oh my God, yesterday all these people are saying this. All these people are saying this about this. Everyone's saying blah, 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 blah. Who of his actual fans wants to hear about this? You know what I mean? Who? Anybody? <laughs> Jade, oh, the glue factory man wants to hear maybe. about this? I don't know. Are those people? <laughs> so here's the thing. He claims he does uh, streams and content for a curated audience, right? So that mm-hmm. implies those people are in touch with what he does and they... They don't need to constantly be reminded of like basic stuff, like what game he's playing tomorrow and what game he's playing <laughs> on the late stream. But at the same time, in the same universe, exists that other concept of those people that constantly don't know anything. So he mm-hmm. needs to reiterate every single thing. So it's like <laughs> this contradiction about his fan base that I'll never be able to understand. <laughs> Great fans. <laughs> I do want to. The... Go ahead. Go ahead, peace. No, sorry. I was just going to say, like, there's this um in his head, I think, and this might actually be true, to be quite honest, but um in his head, there are two people listening to him, right? There are like the the completely indoctrinated cult members, and then there are the trolls. Mm. And he doesn't have any like okay, like 
when you guys are streaming, right, you'll have, you know, you can have like 500, 600, 700 people like listening, right? Yeah. How many of those people are like actively participating and how many of those people are kind of just listening and they're, you know, doing stuff, right? Yeah, most so those people are like are just, ca yeah. casual listeners. Mm -hmm. And he, he seems to forget about that group. I mean, it may actually be the case that he literally has no casual listeners, but I'd say the majority of a normal <laughs> streamer, just like active like listeners at any given time are those types of people so he's just like dumping all of this shit on them and they're just like what the fuck's going on but like again that's a normal streamer so yeah. <laughs> he might actually not have any of those but yeah so i, I think his casual listeners are more like those kind that just uh they tune in because he's there every day so they can put something in the background of a dude who they're just not gonna pay attention to and just like play video games or wash it's dishes or so whatever fucking hard he's like snorting and shit into the mic it's so <laughs> gross like how can you like i like i try i've tried that like just li like you know if raw was down i'd like try listening and like doing stuff and then he just does something really gross and i'm like i can't do this anymore i can't do it yeah. you know how <laughs> do you do you uh What's your theory on that? I know Steve. Steve's not here, and he he has said this theory that snorting and doing that stuff is a method of showing that you're in control here. I'm the boss here. If I want to snort, get the fuck out of here. I snort because you saw when it's it, it turns into uh, interview time. Oh, those snorts, get the fuck out of here. Mute button, sure, I got it set up. It's easy. When it's zone stream, he wants to be in control. The snorts are out in full force. What are your thoughts on that piece? Yeah, so I, I think so. I think he legitimately snorts, right? Like he yeah. has like he's got a dirty ass fucking house. So he's like snorting <laughs> because of that. However, it's absolutely a power play. And you can actually see sp the specific instances in which he's doing a power play. The tips are actually a good, good way to frame this, because um, when he gets a tip, like a really generous tip, and especially if he's like expecting it, which it seems like is often the case, mm -hmm. he'll, he'll be like, Oh, it looks like we just got a big tip here. Let me shout that out in a minute. He'll shout out in like 15 minutes, right? <laughs> but then, but then, like, if you watch last night where he was doing like shittily, he's like, he like interrupted. Oh, we just got a, we just got a tip. Oh, thank you for tipping ten dollars. He got like twenty five dollars for the night or something like that, right? Yeah, that yeah. type of shit. So, my my thought here is that he's exerting this power play specifically on the fucking whales. Like, look at six seventy two, right? Six seventy two gives him. A decent amount of money he used to give him more money but you know he's like a, a member and shit he's a member on both fucking channels i presume mm -hmm. and i'm sure he talks shit to him all the fucking time and the thing is that like i don't know if his mind it's like oh that's what guys do they like you know they talk shit to <laughs> he's like you're not talking like shit to him you're like in in that sort of way you're being an asshole mm -hmm. but i mean like maybe 672 thinks that that is normal like they're both fucking autistic right and so they both think that's normal interaction like oh i'm being a human being oh i'm being a human being let's be human beings to each other that type of shit but no and so he he exerts to this dominance shit specifically on people who give him money which kind of makes sense because he does dominate them and get their fucking money for literally nothing so i don't know but yeah I, I i do think there's a big component of that mm -hmm. whether or not he realizes it you know yeah, yeah. Whether I'm not, I'm not saying it's a master plan because we know he doesn't have any of those. Uh, we've seen when he does his ops, like the car, <laughs> the car thing, pulled one out oh, on yeah, us. Uh, yeah. There's my plan to get ripped off. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. Spark plugs, thousand. That's fine. Just do what you got to do. <laughs> um, I do want to talk. This one post I want to talk about from the agriculture website was so good. Uh, it came from someone posted. I can't remember who it was, but posted a a, uh, a thread on his uh, forums that DSP was talking about try to talk about the success he's had. And someone kind of in response put a list of things that DSP has known. I'm not going to read them all, but some of them are just too good. So this is things that DSP is actually known for or things about him, right? Someone wrote this and it was first, he exists solely based on the mercy of anonymous people online. That's definitely true. Tell me if I say something false here, by the way, he has zero friends and the ones he have have usually made a diss video about him and he blatantly denounced his friends after that. So those friends are gone. Next, he's known as the guy who masturbated on stream. Fair. Uh, he has zero skills, literally zero skills. Correct. He can't even use OBS Correct. properly. Correct. That's true. Yes, literally that's true. zero skills. Yep. <laughs> he is bankrupt. Not for, not only in lack of money, 
but his terrible life decisions made him go bankrupt. So just he went bankrupt in terms of money. And it's not like it's some unfortunate situation that happens to some people. It's based on terrible life decisions like 13 credit cards. Uh, next, he spawned an entire community of people watching his life as a reality show and nitpicking his entire existence. <laughs> I love that's a negative. That's like, OK, some people would like that if they're in the public eye. Uh, sure. I think Phil actually likes that. Uh, he, he, let's be honest. He looks like dog shit. Yep. Okay. Can't argue with that. It's, 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 he's addicted to literal Candy Crush. <laughs> Fair. Though that might not be the aspect that he loves. We don't know. It could just be the the shining lights and the guys in JPEG. I think it's a. Pay, I think it's the pay to win aspect. That's him. That's him dominating other people. Util, <laughs> utilizing the money of people he's dominated. What a fucking world, man. Uh, next, he is a boozer. True. And now he's getting that more and more into his streams, by the way. It's more and more an aspect of the streams now. Now, if you pay enough, he'll do it. But he's a former alcoholic, not current alcoholic. You can brush that shit off like water. It doesn't matter. Uh, his support structure is a wife, which we might guess has um, mental something, you know, as we, if we are to believe what Jenna says. Uh, and the signs are kind of there. Uh, his support structure is his wife, a cat. And his wife doesn't, you could say, I, I want to argue this a little bit, but the wife doesn't care enough to work full time, even though his husband claims to be financially destitute every week. Right. Um, I would argue that I don't know if she's allowed to work that long, if Phil would want her working that long. Who knows that situation? But yeah, that's true so far. Uh, his actual fans, a few there are, usually have mental issues. I think I think that's a hundred percent of the time at this point. <laughs> like like all, like mm, not hyperbolic, honestly. Yes, yes, yes. Um, he's he's unemployable in every way. That's true. He's bad at podcasting. He has a bad back, post nasal drip, and constantly needs to clear his throat. That's a, a fl physical affliction, but it's true. Uh, he last one I think he has no. This is the biggest one, not the biggest one, but one of them. He has no interest. In anything, this person says no interest in going outside or anything. But I think you could say this. He has no interest in anything at all. And I guess you could say he cares about food. But what else is there? No, nothing. I mean, <laughs> th this, a lot. Th this, this ties to the, this ties to the <laughs> skill thing where he has no skills. Because like sometimes I think about, OK, when, when you when you look at the people who uh, sympathize with him, people like mm -hmm. Desposhi and stuff like what? Yeah. Why do they dislike detractors? And and you can tell you can tell like quickly when you listen to the, the, the old like Desposhi interviews where he thinks that they think that Phil is being judged by an unfair standard. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, it's like, why are you judging him on these criteria when that's unusual to judge human beings on other ones? Right. And yep. it's like. This ties to the the skill. And so he has zero skills. So like, let's say like you've got someone like Das Bo shit. He's like, yeah, he's got zero skills. That's why I fucking make everything for him for free and shit like that. Right. Yeah. Because like, you know, because he's a little baby boy. But the thing is that the reason that people criticize him fairly isn't that isn't because he has zero skills. It's tied to the last thing, which is he has no he, ha he doesn't want to learn skills. He wants other people <laughs> to do shit for him so that he doesn't have to learn skills. So like. You know, you make a sim and the sim has no like skills and you learn them. That's normal. Right. And you're like, yeah. yay, you learned cooking and shit. <laughs> but he has no that's like such an, an inhuman quality to not <laughs> want to learn anything, not anything at all. And it's it's like that's the fucking worst thing about him, because that ties into everything else that's shitty about him. I think. Yes, no. yes. And he's so proud of that, right? I think that's a weird, strange thing too. Like, there's no, no. He does. Here's what he does. He tries to show he's improving by just saying things that like people have been telling him for years. Like, it's some new idea. Like, oh yeah, I got. I'm I'm, in, I'm improving things a lot around here. I mean, I've been working on the lights. I got new ring light. But it's just people send shit, and then he molds it into I've been trying to do my best to improve. Right? It's just yeah. It's just funny. It and for the bare minimum, he expects like massive amounts of respect and people to show up. It's oh, like, yeah. Phil, I love this new border that somebody else made for you. I love this new pop up of a face swap with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> hey, dude. By the way, uh, this post sounded familiar to me. Yes. And uh, it's actually my post. Oh, from, it is? <laughs> uh, February 5th, uh, 2022. 
Well, you legend you, you fucking legend yeah someone sent it to me and said it'd be fun to go over and I, I agree i clearly i agree so that's why i should get you on the show meerkat sometime yeah. uh next <laughs> next let's get into um I, let's just get into yesterday because some stuff like yesterday i also have a little year in review prepared for us to go over because you know he's been boring recently but let's talk about the reacts and uh how much of a react watcher are you piece of piece i know you're a night stream gentleman restreamer yourself but uh, are you a react watcher how's it work for you it's a. Uh... <laughs> It's difficult for me to watch a lot of the time. If there's yeah. somebody restreaming it, then mm -hmm. I'll, you know, I'll watch it through like Meerkat's restream it or something. Um, yes. I, I kind of go in and out of those. They're difficult to, for me to sit through all the mm -hmm. way because they're so fucking terrible. But, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I take it in doses. Yeah. So I, I kind of went the extra mile above and beyond. And I said, I'm going to try to wa watch each video. Just, you know, watching Meerkat's restream on double speed helps. But I was like, going to see if there's anything to say about each video. But it starts out with the Meerkat. You'll remember this, hopefully. It starts out with a TikTok video of like a fat, fat um, urban lady dancing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> DSP is so so fast and like itching for that trigger finger like what's going on here you know just they were in a bikini wasn't they were naked i don't think but it was just a funny tiktok actually and like i don't know this like if you if it's a fine quick laugh right but i mean i don't know what kind of example they're trying what reaction they're looking for phil to get but um yeah that was a good start um you saw that america right <laughs> the, the fucking uh, yes. yeah yeah next up we get 7-eleven Okay, and this is when he gets into his zone. He's like, oh, shit, 7-Eleven. Yeah, I saw right. this one. Cool, I'm in. Lock on. And he explains every action, right? So for those that don't have never seen DSP versus the internet, it's uh, explaining every single thing that happens stream. That's all it is. So these are what he said in order. I wrote down four lines he said in order. He bit into it. Look at this. How fresh is this? What's in it? He said those lines in a row. <laughs> and it says on the box, instant ramen. He's oh, it's called instant ramen. These are the kind of comments you get on DSP versus the internet. And it's constantly, you see? Oh, you see? You see? You see? It, I don't know how you can stand these. I don't know how America can make his way through it. I know you're playing a game while you can. That's the only way you can. Uh, because... Yes. This I might mean, be the worst <laughs> content he has, literally. But here's the thing. It's some of the more watchable stuff, because at least if you don't care about the DSP part of it, maybe some of the videos are going to be remotely interesting. And if they're not, he's just going to skip them anyways. True, true, true. So, and that's and the there's overarching. like a wide variety of stuff. And I'm kind of curious. I wonder what people thought that he would like. So they yeah. sent it to him. Mm -hmm. And then looking at his reaction, like actively not liking it <laughs> and trying to... <laughs> trying to express that without hurting the person's feelings so they don't stop being a member mm -hmm. very interesting there's a lot but, of like mind games that he plays with that too. especially with slayer where he especially with slayer he's like yeah look slayer look I, I'm, I'm gonna be a buck with you slayer um i I'll need you to stop sending you. fucking like 80k pop videos you fucking dumbass right right like but he can't say that like, i love your money you know, bro but it's like you know we gotta limit it you know to less k videos i get claimed i get claimed and i can't have that slayer send me fucking 7-eleven videos <laughs> yeah oh, and that uh, claim shit oh go ahead America. uh it, i like when his chat turns against them and start throwing tomatoes in chat in a video that obviously he doesn't like but he needs to watch enough of it so it makes it skippable he can't just have <laughs> yeah. somebody be a, mm -hmm. an ultra sure. member for 20 dollars and he just watches a like five seconds of their video <laughs> he's pushing it though he just you see him start looking for that content id claim on youtube on the live stream it'll pop mm, up yeah. oh, content ID, right, so that, oh content id, but it's content ID, content ID. Oh, oh, so, oh my god oh, i'm so sorry oh, oh i can't watch this oh, oh my god blame youtube oh, i'm so thank sorry fuck. thank fuck i saw the content ID. then he plays the next one it sits there you guys we gotta sit here and wait until the warning is gone okay <laughs> okay it's still here it's still here help and then he gets to um that okay the next next video all right, i didn't go all the way i read like seven videos in i was like all right fuck this but then he gets to iraqi food and he starts talking about iraqi food and this dude's a legit food reviewer and it's fun to see the juxtaposition of a real food reviewer and a dsp because the dude actually says stuff that makes you like oh okay i get that oh interesting i understand what he's talking about but uh then F phil just like goes into it skips halfway through and says i wonder what that is oh yeah wonder how you do that oh wonder what that is how are you supposed to know if you don't watch the video 
I'm like, they're about, they're probably about to tell you. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> just like wait five seconds, please. <laughs> He's he skipped ninety percent of that food video, and and of course I think well I I took this as maybe I'm getting uh too confident or too uh arrogant, but he says like, all right guys, sorry, two food ones in a row. I'm sorry about this, really sorry about this. It's not going to happen again because I think because a lot of people in the detractor sphere say it's all with food, but he's like, oh, sorry about this. Oh, we will definitely change it, definitely change it soon. Uh, then it gets to a comedian, not funny. And he goes into this weird, I'm going to explain why it was trying to be funny way, which of course is Phil's strong suit, explaining why things are funny. Remember when he explained why the shorts are funny? That was really good. <laughs> that worked out well. And uh -huh. it just wasn't a funny comedian, but he has to explain why I'm skipping because like, I think he's trying to do this, but I, you know, let's just skip it and try to be nice to his people that give him how much fuck, fuck they money they give him. Uh, next up, British style comedy was was good. Uh, he had no clue what was going on at all, no clue, and was just staring at the the content ID thing, like, okay, please, 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 yes, a content ID. Whew, we have to move on. Sorry about that, guys. Really sorry about that. Extremely sorry. Extremely sorry. Uh, then he gets to the heavy rain quick time one. Remember that? Uh, Mirka, I know you're watching that one where it's like you have to yeah, push yeah. buttons in order. And he failed all the quick times. You just and this fail is what, all of them. You yeah. just fail all of them. And you get to see the things. And uh, his criticism for this in this video, I, I wrote this down for, for on purpose, was <laughs> his criticism for this video is where the person in the video game chose to run to escape from the people chasing them. <laughs> so think about that that's your comment is a t however old heavy rain is 13 years or whatever the comment you have come up with for this great react content is why is the character running on top of the the the, the food it's amazing it's a weird choice guys anyways i'm already passing out at this point i'm ready to go ready to go then he watched himself play street fighter Watch himself play Street that was Fighter. That's with Maximilian, right? That that comes up later, but yeah, he does that as well. No. And he, but but it's just another excuse to complain about lag and also talk a lot, so you can't hear what he actually says back then because it's all super toxic. It's maximum oh, toxic. Right. Bill, he like, keeps talking like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Then I got the lag, but the guy's like, "This piece of fucking shit, my moves aren't coming out. This guy sucks." But he has to talk over that, you know? Yeah. he's a changed Fuck man. Fuck this scrub. <laughs> Fuck this scrub. <laughs> nice. And like the the FPS is just chopping up. He's playing in like fifteen frames per second. It's laggy as hell. Yeah, it's great footage. You get to hear the classic. Do that now, man. Be... That'd be that'd be so much better if you just did that now. Instead I know. Of whatever he does now. Yeah. Just now... Do that now, dude. They'd love it. Everyone would love it. But he he loves like cutting wrestling promos, anyways. Why not just embrace it and, uh -huh. and just yeah. do it? Yeah, like he, he he back in the day he wasn't scared to say people are assholes. Mom shit him out. He had all these cut downs at the ready. Now it's just uh, now he has something to blame, but it's the game or the developers. It's never the opponent anymore. He just changes. It's, it's so it's so slimy the way he does. Like back then, at least he was upfront about you know whatever the fuck was pissing him off. Now he does this like walking on eggshell shit. I'm like, does he think that YouTube's gonna ban him? Like, <laughs> dude, YouTube doesn't ban people. They should have banned my ass like fucking a year ago, you know, <laughs> but like he, he should realize that he he has like immunity now. He could be a, a giant fucking asshole like he normally does. It's all good. At least it'd be entertaining. Come on. But, you, you know, also you, you never know, because at, at this point, it's his uh, sort of a personality trait to get terminated from certain services. <laughs> like uh, yeah. it's, it's like a massive here. ability. <laughs> yeah, it it was uh, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, some like random shit. So you never know. Maybe they're gonna kick him out the the partner program or whatever. If if enough people complain about it and someone actually decides to investigate, yeah. So now we have to be like the new rebranded positive Phil. You go stream on Odyssey with with DDM, where he fucking sent DDM. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, he has many places roommates. to go. You can go and kick. <laughs> So Derek could be watching uh, in one tab some porn star and then just just change the tab, go to Phil on the same website. He, he already yeah, does that. Trust, jerking me. Off to. Trust me, he already does that. You know Derek's multi-tabbing it. Oh, hold on. Okay, she just finished. I'll go to Phil for a while. Where's oh my, my next God, girl? Help. <laughs> and then he did get to that Maximilian video, which is funny because someone – Someone out there found the video where Maximilian dude was just doing his review of some game, and he was playing Phil in that moment. And he didn't even mention DSP at all, which shows where Maximilian dude, positive content creator he is, didn't bring up he's playing DSP at all, just happened to be playing DSP. But of course, then he has to explain why he's getting his ass kicked. 
So it's not from skill. It's not from anything like that. It's actually just because he was drunk, guys. He was just totally drunk. Oh, okay. Like that makes it better, man. Cool. Oh, definitely, definitely. And also, he I mean, was the, doing the, it late the, at night. For just, I mean, no, if, you, if you're drunk okay. all the t- if you if you're if you're consistently drunk all the time, then that's your natural state, which is the <laughs> same as anyone else plays a fi- fighting game not drunk, which is their natural state. I'm just saying, yeah. it's the same. And I also like how this shows where he still had passion for video games enough, at least to play them off stream. You know, now that's a uh, oh, you think I have time for that shit? Get the fuck out of here. I don't got time to play games. I got shit to do. So that, that's 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 some of the weirdest shit. Cause like like uh I, I watched this like Total War streamer, and when he was streaming, he'd stream fucking like Total War like fucking eight hours, and it'd be like fucked up hours too, because he, he lives in Australia. So it was from like you know, it was from like fucking eleven PM to you know seven AM his time or something, something like that. But yeah, he still played Total War like off stream like <laughs> yeah. for himself because when you stream a game it's different than when you're play it on yourself because you can pause the game fucking walk off for 20 minutes do whatever you want right you don't have to like stay with the stream chat and shit but, oh absolutely yeah but like even him who did that he did that every day until he burned himself out after like three years he still played that same fucking game <laughs> on his time off like that's a person who enjoys video games and so like dsp's like i just want to chill and enjoy video games goop and it's like you don't play video games. You you babysit a bunch of fucking morons. That's your job. <laughs> you don't play video games, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's what he what he does about playing a video game. It's going to a decision point and saying, "Oh, guys, what do we do?" And then he's waiting for them to tell him the best option. You know, I'm not sure what to do here, guys. What do we? Hmm. Oh, what should we do? Okay, someone is saying this, uh, but. Mm, okay, we'll do that. It's like uh, no, some, nobody's some talking. Kind of, yeah, you know what's talking. Nobody's about. talking. Okay, everybody's talking about <laughs> some some fucking like I don't. Why are you even here? Oh, you know why don't I just put the controller down? It's like that shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I mean they get love for gaming. We should. I could probably we should do some historical viewing and see exactly when it kind of switched. Obviously, it's when money got involved. Just like Wings. Wings says he well. Wings at least is honest. He'll say he hates gaming now, which is at yeah. least honest because you know. He probably does. You know? I respect that. Yeah. Sure. At least Wings is not. Oh, we not to change something too fast, but let's get your thoughts on the fight here. Wings versus Boogie. What do you think in peace? Wings, like who, like who, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's to wing and who you rooting for? Everything. We need the full peace take. Uh, well, I hate Boogie more than Wings. So, um, if he had a heart <laughs> attack or something, that'd be cool. Uh, but like, I don't know. Like fucking. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what to think about it cuz like I've never um I've never experienced two really out of shape fat people train for 6 weeks or whatever to to fight each other. Um, yes. Good point. Well, a few I, of us have. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I okay, I I I would have to think that they're both going to get gassed extremely quickly and like okay, so the thing is that they're gonna they're definitely both gonna get gassed really quickly. So I guess it comes down to who has more like endurance or something. Like that's gonna be it because yeah, I ha- I have to think that they're like if you've seen those those little shorts that like Boogie posts like where he's like on a he's like on a bag he's like punching a bag and it's <laughs> yeah, like yeah yeah the lamest shit ever. Like he's not <laughs> leveraging at all. It's just like uh, uh, like and so like you see sh- I'm like they. I don't think that Boogie can injure another man like doing that unless he like squished them or something. And so like, I just think that he's going to do that and then get gassed. And then the question is, is it the same going to be for wings? And then they're just, cause like when you get gassed, your punches are we- even weaker. And yeah, he's doing that weird thing. You know? His legs are, there's no bo- like lower body movement at all. It's just mm-hmm. like yeah. set up the potato and then just start, the the kind of the yeah and, the and his legs his legs are, his legs are like his legs are like on the same line so <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah he's 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 almost in like a shooting stance so <laughs> he, he's got no he's got no like it's like every punch is a jab when it should be like a like a like a fucking straight you know like he doesn't have the yeah. legs for that yeah Fuck. it's really it's really be funny. terrible it, it, yeah it's gotta be stupid but it's it's I mean, gonna it'll make, probably be funny yeah it's gonna be funny but, and hopefully make them make them make a keem a lot of money. <laughs> So they yeah, keep doing yeah. it. If he made what, a lot of money, it'd make DSP pissed, which would yes, make me Yeah, that's what I want. I want them. Like, I hate the boogies to the most fucking annoying 
content creator on the internet, basically. Well, we're not as bad as DSP, but he's pretty fucking annoying. So I don't oh, yeah. want him to get a lot of money, but I just want them to get money so DSP gets more pissed at turning it down. That's all I want. I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe he would exploit these adults, these adults who are able to make decisions. How dare he? <laughs> It's like, well, I mean, everyone That's, made a bunch of money except for you. How's it feel? That, feel good? That, dude, that fucking part is so fucking scammy in that stupid interview. And he's like, okay, let me ask you, excuse me. Can I ask a question, gentlemen? Excuse me, gentlemen. Can I ask a question? Uh, Keen, sure. do you feel like it's it, you have to maybe be responsible for these? I mean, from what I see, unhealthy guys, they are going to be boxing. Is that okay? What do you think about that? That's such a b- stupid, stupid question, man. Shut the I, fuck I, up. I what's your angle there? That shit. Yeah, yeah, for real. Your, How do you interpret what's your that? Angle? What's your angle with that? Are you trying to appear like you're like worried about them? Because come on, like you're fuck worried about yourself. anybody. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what he was trying to do. The whole oh. vibe of that segment was kind of like a, like a courtroom drama. He was trying to appear to be a sympathetic. It's like, Kim, <laughs> you are one of those people where there's no line you're you're not willing to cross it's like bro there's just two dudes that are gonna box each other like chill the fuck out but uh, his jimmies are gonna get super rustled once uh review tech usa beats the fuck out of the quartering because that's also <laughs> apparently happening is that yeah. is that green lighted uh, i i think <laughs> so yeah. or they, they're working on it because these two they have a, a lot of beef and they they want to go for it Man, I want I want DSP versus the courting. That's the Gout brother fight we're all waiting for. They both I want are DSP legit. versus Mike Tyson. That's what I want. <laughs> well, DSP would win that. We gotta one. put we old. gotta put the rumors to rest, man. Come on, Dave. <laughs> Mike Tyson's very old. <laughs> Have you seen DSP's movement speed? It's incredible. He can, dude, he power he can walks, man. Pick an eye. Power, he can, he can power the... <laughs> walk at one mile every twenty minutes, dude. He yeah. can pick his eyes and ears faster than anybody. Now that we're talking about this, I've noticed recently there's been an extreme rise in leg stretching breaks and just like general fucking around breaks where he like goes, says he's going to stretch his legs and just goes downstairs to pet Jasper Mm, and to just walk around the house just out of nowhere in the middle of the stream. Sometimes it's just like he's doing a podcast and it's like, you know what, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll just like walk around. So is this him like actually walking around to just waste time or he's doing something else secretive behind the scenes? I can't figure it out. What do you guys yeah. think? Go well, peace. You are, you are more of someone to ask for this. Cause you know how the, the ebbs and flows of the tips go at the nighttime stream. So is there, yeah. do you think there's something to that or not? Or do you, I mean, you, I'm not saying you're watching that closely actually, but well, <laughs> what well, do you I, think? No, I mean, I mean, I saw it, I saw it yesterday where he like, he literally went down to like hang out with Jasper for something. I was, I was watching that shit. And then like, <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, it's it's very blatant at this point that um, he has no respect for his audience's time because, OK, like this is another thing where it's like holding people to, to a standard. Right. So mm. he's he's what you would call a like a primary streamer and like a restreamer like me would be like a secondary. So like theoretically, if I fucked off because like I have to go eat dinner for like 15 minutes or something. I can leave DSP on. There's still action happening. The pe- the okay. reason people are there is still active unless DSP leaves at the same time that I leave, which would be yeah, kind of yeah. funny. <laughs> um, but when DSP leaves, his audience gets dead air. There's nothing. He's not restreaming anything. Right. Yeah. So so they get they get nothing while he's fucking around with Jasper and shit. And so I think that like I think that it could be a couple things but I actually think he's just wasting time like like I've you know you you feel that thing where you're you're like at work and you're you're not feeling like great and you're like fuck maybe I'll just like it was just like walk around for like five or ten minutes like clear my head or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. So he's like doing that but he's in his house <laughs> streaming right yeah um and he does that like on the day stream at least he's he's fucking around like every stream now um the night stream he, he i gotta go take a piss and i'm just like well do you do you have you don't have to do that on the day stream though right you don't have to like you you take a longer there's like a longer period of time between the start and your first break for the day stream like the the, the day stream break will usually happen at around like 3 p.m it feels like yeah. these days and then he comes back he's like oh we got an hour left guys that type of thing and it's so again, worst start- timing possible if you're trying to have a, a stream one hour before you finish. So people are like, <laughs> okay, might as well fuck off now. That's what makes people yeah. what you do. You well, know, like what <laughs> else is there? Unless you know, unless they're waiting for like a bag. Like you can wait yeah. for that bag and then you can leave. <laughs> like you, you get that bag. It's it's usually the best bag, you know. And then you get a bunch of last chance bags, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, I I I think that all it all comes together with that. Like I he, I think he doesn't. 
he doesn't enjoy streaming. He doesn't enjoy video games. Um, he wants to spend as much time doing nothing as possible. Doing nothing is his favorite thing to do. <laughs> I mean, and that is one of those with that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Look at the podcast. It's, it's how much of it is talking about nothing. If you break it down, you know, it, it's that most of it is talking about nothing, actually. Like it's mm -hmm. about the schedule takes up 20 percent. Then we get to the talking about stuff that happened yesterday for some reason. Talks about the benefits you get for being a member, which my favorite thing from the react was. All right, guys, if you're a member, you can watch the replay of this right away. If I'm watching now, why do I need to see the replay? Is it is it replayable? This content? Oh, I gotta see Phil's take on this again. I saw it once, but the replay's gotta be pretty hot. We fucking lost DDM for this shit. <laughs> we lost DDM for that shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Phil. His, all of his audience is watching. Hey guys, you want to catch the replay? If you're a member, you could watch it right now. If you're not, get fucked. You gotta wait till the whole week. I'm gonna put it out in drips and drabs. Get fucked. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Now that you mentioned the members, it reminded me of yesterday, the, the fantastic pacing of those, uh, the React bits. So he shills members in the beginning. He yeah. does the React thing. Shills members in the end. Cuts the recording off. Shills members again, <laughs> plus a minor or maybe a significant beg if he didn't get money. Mm -hmm. We start the next part. Shill member in the beginning. Do React. Shill again. Break. Beg. <laughs> shill. <laughs> New React in this like six times. There's six six pieces. It's fantastic. It's like a six course meal, dude. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much for the super sticker. It looks to be a banana. Oh, banana. It's not, it's not anthropomorphic, so I'm not gonna accept it. Sorry. So real quick, like rapid fire thoughts on the rest, because I stopped watching every video, just kind of going through it. Uh every short video gets a uh, oh, it's two minutes. That's not bad. Like, he starts to rank the videos on how long they are. Not on anything about the content, but, oh, three minutes? That's good. Oh, two minutes? It's pretty good. Four minutes? That's not bad. Oh, my God, this is 20 minutes. Fuck. <laughs> you know? So and what what are you doing? What's the point of this? What what am I, you know? Well, imagine if you're putting in view. Pretend you picked a video, right? You are. Right, like, Phil's going to love this video. Six minutes long. It's about a cat doing some stupid shit. It's funny as shit, man. My mom was cracking up when she said it to me on Facebook. DSP is going to love this. And then six minutes. Ugh, I don't know. Mm, you know, it's like, it's such a not thinking about the, the audience at all. Right. I know he doesn't, but I mean, it's just a proof of it. Like think about how the audience is thinking, right? It's normally what a content creator kind of does. You try to think about what the audience might be thinking. Hey, they might like this. They probably don't like this. Just none of that. None of that at all. Um, there was a, there was yeah. one that he really liked, but it was like 12 minutes long. So he watched like six minutes and then was like, I really like this one, but we have to move on. So it's like the one video you like, you're not even going to watch. Yep. And how about the, the fucking, we didn't talk about it yet. But how about the, the animal abuse video? Why does this get almost fully played? He played almost the whole thing. Oh, if I see this guy, sorry, if I get emotional, just a little warning, I might get emotional. Then change the video. That was so insane to me. What he like is is he looking for like a view replay view re replayability here because it's kind of a not an interesting topic but a a topic that gets views. Is that what he's looking for there? You were going crazy too, Mirka, at that point. Like, what's the I, thinking? Yeah, there? I hated it because if there was any kind of vibe or mood that was set so far, that video fucking destroyed it. That was like the most mm -hmm. downer, toxic fucking video ever, and uh, it got me salty because it's like a shitty video, and then I have to. Watch this dude was like really goes into his feelings about how much he loves animals and how bad this is. And like we, we still have to sit through the, the people abusing a dog video. It's really toxic. <laughs> I prefer the the how to wipe your ass video. That was my favorite <laughs> bit of yesterday. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Then he big explained wiping after that. He pig explained like he's like, oh, this is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts though. Crumpling, I don't really know. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> so, fucking Christ, dude. Oh my god. Uh we oh, we also got a Rambo song. 
That was pretty hype. Rambo's uh, uh, acoustic guitar playing on this. Was that on his? Ch- was that on DSP's like channel, or is that on Rambo's channel? That was on Rambo's was that channel. Stay Ballsy okay. channel. Uh, I played nice. that on WPIG, by the way. That's that's going to be in full rotation because we support Rambo Excellent. around here. Uh, but <laughs> Phil, of course. Oh, Phil was in full fellation mode. Oh, this is so great. This is a great one. I love this. I remember when he released this. So awesome, man. I loved it. Just like over the top. You know, he has to be the nice guy now. I'm over the top. I love this shit. I support everything Rambo does. You know. Is whatever. Um, next, we had uh, was, the yeah, yeah. Go ahead. One of my big pet peeves with him reacting to stuff is he just plays a random video and doesn't tell you what it's about. So a random <laughs> video plays, and both you and DSP are just sitting there confused because you don't know what this is about. You didn't even read the title of the video. <laughs> And sometimes he has to explain it. Like then he checks it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is this is filthy Frank. Okay, got it. You know, like this is what he could set it up a little bit, not just play random shit. Uh, then he the, we got to a video of a Phil talking about something back in the day, and this goes into healthy side Phil of how oh my god I was so fat then. Oh my god, look at me. I can't believe it. What did I look like? I was so disgusting. Oh. No. I look so different now. Oh, look, I look so different. It's amazing. Look how fat I was. Like all he can talk about because he's trying to again cover the toxicity he's talking about in that video. Uh, but that was pretty funny. I'm, I look so different now. Look how different I look, guys. I look incredible now. Yeah, look you look right different, now. all right. Yeah. <laughs> Fabio, right now. <laughs> and I, I, what you know, not to talk too much about it, but he definitely lost weight. But it's not like yeah, you're looking pretty good, dude. You know, slimmed up. Damn. He's he's melting, you know, like it's just melting. I don't know how else yep. to say it, but the face is yep. melting. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think like uh, I think with the snort sacks, I was like thinking about it, and you know that thing he does where he has like both index fingers, like, and they go to to his eye, and they like trace his nose, and he pulls really hard. Yeah, like pulls them the, down. Yeah, he pulls them down, and he like makes downtown. a really scary face, like yeah. that shit. Yeah, he. I think I think the snort sacks are probably coming from that thing. I think he I think if he's done that enough times <laughs> as hard as he does throughout his entire life, it's like cumulative damage. And and then we have the birth of the snort sacks. Cause I never but, seen that shit on another fucking person, man. He kind of sculpted Jesus. him into existence. He sculpted yeah. those snort yeah, sacks. Yeah, that's like that's like his, that's his fuck, that's his Michelangelo's David, dude. <laughs> his own fucking face. <laughs> One day these are gonna look great with a ring light. Just trust me, Leanna. No, th- remember we were talking earlier, like he needs people <laughs> in his chat to fillet him whenever he does like any sort of minor, what he considers an improvement and shit like the ring light and yes. shit like that. And I'm just like, <laughs> if he doesn't get the, uh, the, the, the adulation and shit that he like thinks he deserves, he just jerks himself. Dude, dude it was for like the week to two weeks after he set that shit up, that fucking ring light, he, every daily ride was like, man, that this looks good. Like, <laughs> Like it's it's like it's like when you go to like you know to try on like a like a fucking tux or something like that you know yeah. it's like fitted fitted and you're like I look good you know it's yeah. sp- I'm doing that with a fucking ring light that looks way worse <laughs> and he's yeah. like looking at himself it's like do you have the same like do do your eyes see into a different reality than mine you have like Yakugan or something or Sharingan what the fuck <laughs> man what are you he's seeing like in a in a constant state of when a guy gets a haircut and you get like a confidence boost and you're like, oh man, I'm I'm fucking lit. You know, I'm gonna crush this shit. <laughs> With a fucking ring light that's not even used appropriately. Oh god. Dave. Dave, please. I wonder if Steve would say, but it's, that comes from like he literally no interaction with anyone on earth. I, like not even I don't think it's even cat at this point gives him any interaction. You know, I like how you think of a piece of like Phil goes to her like, what do you think, honey? Shut up. This wasn't in the contract. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. Thieves quest, bitch. Fuck out. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I bet that's it's, what it's, it's like. It's, you know? it's one of two things. He either believes he looks good or he's extremely insecure. It's one of those two things. But the thing is, he's a narcissist, too. So that that's the thing that muddles it up, because it's 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 almost certainly like this defense mechanism for his own innate insecurity. But he just he just does it really hard. Right. Like he's very (laughs) outward about like, okay, if you think you look good. Right. And you have like an audience of people, Mm -hmm. you know, you, you could like be like yeah i look good man you know but he like did it very consistent he did it on the daily rap he did it the following pre-stream he's like hey guys how'd the ring light look but looks pretty good huh he did that for an actual week 
several times a day. And at that point, you're just like, bro, it's just like sad. It's very sad at this point. Yeah, like know? talking to yourself too much, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm like you're seeking, if I want her, I could get her. You know, I'm looking good. You're, you know? you're looking you for this it. like affirmation that's that only you are providing to yourself because nobody else fucking cares or thinks it looks but, worse. The thing is, the more he repeats it, some people actually start to care and they repeat it back to him. It's like a game of telephone. So he's like, man, I've yeah. changed so much. My content is so great and meaningful. And then Jade is like, yes, Phil, you content <laughs> meaningful, uh, very enjoy. Snort sack small. <laughs> Snort sack are you guys, are small. you guys noticing that the, the dents, like the real dents are starting to parrot him? Have you guys started like seeing that shit? Has Slayer's the Slayer's kind of the big one. Haseo's doing it. Oh yeah. 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 That's what you mean. They're like. I, I dude, this is like the weirdest shit. It's like dent whisperer shit. I don't really understand, but it's he's he's saying these. It's yeah, it it, it ties to what you, he says it over and over again, and it like it like implants itself into these the brains of these dents, right? And they're they're also seeking affirmation in their fucking worthless lives, you know, working yes, at the glue factory, the or whatever they're doing. And yeah. so it's this, it's this like, well, it's a circle jerk, like. But the thing is that. They're not jerking each other off. They're all jerking Phil off, right? So no one's going to Slayer and be like, yo, Slayer, yo, Singapore's pretty great. I love how they're about to hang a guy for having weed, like a kilogram of weed. That's really cool. Like shit like that. Like they're not talking to each other really, unless, you know, like Jade saying like, hello, Uses or something, but they're not like communicating with each other. They're all just like dogpiling DSP and jerking him off, which yeah. like is super cool, I guess, to them. That I think Thanks. also though, like you get the LARPers in there, like let's say Nathan Wong, the most famous one. He he's he's legit, like I don't understand what his deal is, but like he's I know he's not a dent, right? Because he'll say funny stuff that's only detractors get and stuff. But then when DSP says something like I'm looking good, he'll also for the joke of it, like say the same thing back, but like mm -hmm. extreme, like, oh, this you I think you might look the best of any streamer on YouTube, like that kind of shit. So then the real dents are like hey some people are starting to think this yeah let's join mm, too we're part of this yeah. cool club you know and then, then it goes then that's the i don't know what kind of train we're on but this is a sad train and this then is some fucking <laughs> weird whack shit man i ain't seen this shit before yeah and then then we get to people saying how great phil looks on stream and who wants that what person on earth wants that hey chad how good am i looking on stream let me know you know, they're great. I want to fuck that's you, too funny. Daddy. Yeah, like Is that's that what too, you want. I already made it kind of funny. He's not saying it to be funny. He's saying it like legitimately. I think I look screen looks look better, right? What do you think? Looking a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you want to play video game or or what? You know, no, like, that's, <laughs> we got an hour left of that. Come on, get the ah, fuck out fuck. of here. I got to do schedules, bitch. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite videos from yesterday is the Barbie trailer. <clears throat> and what was funny about this is. Phil, of course, barely watching. He has to explain the movie. He says this. So it looks like Barbie Land is real. They're not toys, but all the rules of being a toy applies to them. That was word for word. Let me know when you, you understand what that means. Report back, please. <laughs> Uh, Barbie Land is real. They're not toys, but all the rules of being a toy applies. I and, imagine them pitching the movie like that yeah, oh, to yeah. some Hollywood oh. exec. <laughs> and he's like, dude, this is amazing. It's going to make a trillion dollars. Make it now. And also let me sexually harass you. Yeah. That's what they would say. And Phil has to add something if they do it. Oh, they're even using the font used for Barbie. What do you think wow. they're oh, going to use? Oh, wow. Really? Dude. Wow. That's so. Like, that's like when he made Rambo dress up as Rambo. Yeah, that's Rambo Iconic. from the movie. He, his name is you Rambo get it? too. You get it? <laughs> I what? was just like, what level do you have to be of not having anything to say to say they're using the font for Barbie in a Barbie movie? <laughs> that, uh... that was wild, man. That was, I was like, this is the state we're in right now of reacting. And let's talk about how different Phil, because Phil wants to be Sir Moist in every way. Sir Moist can put on a video, react to it, million views, easy, because people care what he says, you know? Whether you like him or not, enough people care, he could do, he could watch grass growing, say funny comments to some people, and they love it. Phil wants to be that so bad, but he goes about it the opposite way. His whole setup makes it impossible, right? Because the thing that Sir Moist does, he's spontaneous, and he says, oh, this video is hot right now. I'm watching this. And then he talks about it. 
Phil has this built the system where he doesn't get any good videos to watch because it's all the his real fans submitting videos that are horrible for the most part. And he can't have anything spontaneous to say, and he has to, he can't watch more than two minutes of it. So it's like every single thing that's good about a real React contator, you know, content creator, is is he takes all that away. There's nothing spontaneous. He has no commentary at all, and he's just worried about when I can get to the next one. So it's like he's set up his own hell of making this React content the worst content there is. I know it's fun to watch for us because it just it shows how insane he is, but. It's just, it's just amazing how what, the state we're at. I never watched a whole day until yesterday. Now I see it, so I can fully analyze that this is a sad state, but it's good for us. So I hope he keeps doing it, you know? That's kind of like what I like about his gimmick, that he does all these things that you just said, but he is proud of it, and he brands himself as this guy, and this is how <laughs> this is why he's better than everybody else, is because he does it in that specific way that is bad and inefficient. <laughs> Okay, maybe you can get this. Snort sacks, pig nose. Pig, Phil is morphing into Bat Batarian from Mass Effect. Only needs two more eyes. Google it. Okay. Yeah. Mass uh, defect. Yeah. 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 He kind of looks like a Batarian. I can do that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, by the way, a quick moment from yesterday. Derek, yes. number one dark fan and number one freeloader, he was begging for a membership and he got it. I saw that <laughs> shit. That was Iconic. awesome. Bad that was Derek fucking sweet. Fan. Wait, I, wanna, I wanna see what he I wanna what did he what did Derek actually type like verbatim? It was fucking it was the saddest shit I ever seen. It was like fucking where was it? I saw it on KF. I think but. something along the lines of uh I'm hoping for a gifted membership today, maybe. <laughs> he, he, yeah, like at this point, he's he, like he really is like he, he's parroting DSP. That's something DSP would fucking do, isn't it? Oh yeah. god, yeah. He's you know, up beg the for a membership, dude. He begged for a fucking Steam Deck, man. You see that oh, shit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What the fuck was that about? <sighs> and this is this, my favorite. How he framed it. It's not begging. I'm just telling you that I want it. <laughs> So like if you I'm just get telling it for you, me, yeah, yeah. If if you offer to give it to me, I'll take it. But I'm not asking for it. <laughs> and and the, well, the okay. guys like the, he's like he's like Dave. There's no like wait list anymore. Like you could put it you could put it in. It'll be in. It'll be at you in like two weeks. And then Dave's like, well, that's a wait list, isn't it? Like I can't just like go on and order a Steam Deck and it'll be here in like a week. I'm like, yeah, it'll be here in two weeks. He can't think that like, far ahead. No, no, you're thinking way too far uh, ahead for Phil. He has no like, memory of future. There's no future. like a wait list. A wait list <laughs> is if I wanted like a, a fucking like BMW i4 and have to wait nine months for it to be delivered, right? <laughs> like it's it's a fucking extra week question mark. It might not even be that. It might be even faster. I don't know. But he's like, and then he's like, he framed it in such a way that the wait list is the reason he's not getting it. Right. Like, that's why he was like, hung. he's like, well, it's like two weeks, not one week. So it's like, I can't just get one. And then he goes on to be like, I mean, if someone wants to, I'm like, yeah, if they send you one, it'll take two weeks to fucking get to you. What's the problem? Oh, you have to pay for it. I got you. It, sure. It's that shows another aspect of him. He can't think of anything in the future. Right. There's no, there's no saving of any kind, even like, it's like an artificial saving account. You put money and you get something, but it takes a while to get there. He can't even do that. That's too much. That's too much future thinking. That's incredible if you think about it, right? Like he can't wait two weeks later. I'm going to get this two weeks later. What the fuck? What? Okay. That's why let, he doesn't buy shit online either. Dick. Real quick. That's why he doesn't buy shit online either. Because, you know, people say like, why does he buy grocery online? You don't get that right away. There's no instant gratification. I'm not doing that the fuck out of here but well, go ahead you could schedule them for like the next day i guess too they long I want to lose. my money's tied up that way i want to get my money tied up <laughs> true yeah. uh, let's say he gets a steam deck so he has to buy games on steam now i guess like pc games that he can only play on a handheld console he's probably never playing games on pc ever again because it takes a long time to set up and dance don't appreciate it enough and also he <laughs> needs to get a new pc bought for him Yes. So the the benefits, just, just just none of them of him getting a Steam Deck is just somebody else gets to spend that money and send him a toy that's gonna gather a bunch of dust yes. a week from now. Yes, and Future. and the cool shit you can do on the Steam Deck, you need to, like you know if you want to like emulate Switch games or something, right? You need to be able to work it a little. Like it it's not it's not like a it's not like a fucking nintendo ds so you just plug the cartridge in and, and turn it on right like the cool shit that you can do with a steam deck you need to not be a fucking moron who's unwilling to learn how to do things like dsp so yes. they'll yeah basically he'll get a steam deck 
and he'll be able to utilize it to like 20% of its potential. And then he'll like subsequently ignore it forever. Like everything he'll, else. Yeah. He'll use it like a DS. Like I'm down. I'm playing final fantasy six on here guys. It's crazy. You know, and that's it. That's it. He's going to get, he's you know, super Nintendo games. He was talking about fucking super Nintendo games. So like final fantasy four and stuff. Or yeah. what, you know? <laughs> Can you buy like one of those like mini console things? Don't those exist? Yeah. Like those, and you like, he has a capture card. Like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> He should have bought the the soldier console, soldier boys <laughs> uh, signature console. I, I love that one. That's a classic, underrated. Uh, I do want to talk about also the uh, he had a real big rant about someone threatened him, guys. If you saw the threat, someone said, "I'm uh, going to be in the town uh, yeah. or something." With a, with a nice little happy face, dude. That guy was so nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. just visiting to do some tourism. Yeah, but um, he he saw, this led him into a big rant on Aquatil's has a video on it uh, where he's talking about how like this new thing where like there's this good old, good old boys mentality so like five or six people join they have the same kind of names like baxter or whatever and then they kind of do these half disses and then finally i take action and moderate them and then they get the candle emotes and they say like oh where'd you fight? why'd you get him it really upsets me dude i'm tired of it i'm tired of this and then I'm putting my ahead. foot You're... down <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what i was gonna say i'm tired of this it has to stop happening. Then nothing changed at all. That he's been like that for how many years? I think the first time he said I'm tired of this was like nine years ago, probably. Like trolling. Yes. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I think it might have been uh, when he was ranting about YouTube playing Tobuscus ads on his videos, <laughs> and he was like, I'm tired of this. Someone do something about it. Uh, but this rant you're talking about, it starts off by him thanking people for being nice to him and generous. And yes. then we instantly transition into a victim segment. Thank, <laughs> thank you guys for being generous because today I had people making uh. threats about me. <laughs> they were trolling me. And it's like the dude can't even just be genuinely just thankful for people being nice to him. It, need, it needs to be spun in something else. Yeah, that's a good point. No reason to bring that up. No reason. You could say, I'm having fun tonight, guys. It's awesome. You guys are really cool. And then he has to bring it up like, oh, so what was me today? People were mean to me. They had the uppercase sweaters. They were screaming. Like, come on, dude. How old are you? How old are you? Think that's part about of the it. brand, I guess, right? <laughs> I guess. Isn't it? Like, <laughs> like, I mean, if you think about it, like in a meta sort of way, like, you know, You've got these cucks who are who do shit for him for free because he's incapable of doing it. I saw I saw a uh, I saw it on KF, I think, where it was like someone posted the it, like Papa Vera typed something one time and he's mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, I work with people like Phil and uh, and and like he typed something. He's like, I work with people like Phil and, you know, they need to be given directions and it just makes me feel like it's like he was he was actually like a student in his like class and he's autistic or something it was it was a very <laughs> weird thing to type and very funny and yeah. and i i just think that there's a lot of this like i don't know what you would call it it's almost like this like baby thing where he's like a sim and you're like controlling him through being a streamer like you're playing like <laughs> like sims sims 5 the streamer edition <laughs> yeah. and you're just telling him where to go and what to do and <laughs> like what food to eat you know <laughs> you, and what food to DoorDash, i guess and yeah i mean yeah. the, the simoleons come from your pocket instead of like him working a job <laughs> in the game and stuff yeah. but like that's kind of what it is he's he's like because he is he's like a blank slate he has no valid opinions on anything he has no skill set he's just he's just an organism that exists and they you can very easily control his behavior right like he's so dumb that people can like bait him and troll him and move him to do this or that yeah you know in various ways like i, I remember there was that dude who would, would like give him money and make him play street fighter 5 or something like yeah yeah you, you know whatever that happened and so i think that's what they get out of it it's kind of like maybe their own internal power play back oh, okay to, yeah you know where like Okay, well, I mean, I'm giving you money and and acting like a total moron, but at least you're like kind of doing what I want. And he, you know, like they, it's like when they tell him like, oh yeah, you look so handsome, daddy, and shit, and they obviously don't mean it and stuff. It's this <laughs> thing where 
they're controlling his perception of reality as well because they're not telling him the truth about anything. That's and, one aspect we didn't really. I mean, I we haven't talked about on the show. That could be why some of the whales do what they do. I guess is like it's their own little pet, right? Like this is my hey, this is yeah. my pet. I, no, you know? I, 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 I I wholeheartedly subscribe to that theory. I mean, at least some of them. They, you know, you can the, these these fucking psychos can have various you know motivations, I guess, but ultimately they're they're all tied to the same person. So uh-huh. they must be related in some way, right? Yeah, that's interesting. Like they're they they're they're the puppet master, and they're happy to they must have money somehow, so they're happy to pay to control the puppet and watch him dance. And they have to watch from above, like laughing at us too, because like you know you know what I mean, like laughing with us or at us. I don't know, but they have to think it's funny all this shit that's caused from Phil still being able to do what he's doing, which is only because those whales exist too, right? Sure. The puppet yeah, master's sure. devout. Yeah. It's oh, this is all over, you know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's out, oh, yeah. you know, and we, we'll still have syndication. I mean, that's what people say. Don't we don't need any new field. There's enough old field to talk about for years to come, you know. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, it's just it, it's that's an interesting theory there. I like that. I mean, they 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 presumably think that you know their their interference in DSP's life creates you know basically sustains the vortex, right? Yes. And without them, the vortex would cease to exist. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they ever considered the fact that the vortex is kind of irrelevant. <laughs> You know, like, yeah, yeah, it's, I it's, not, it's, not, it's not great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, things mean different things to different people, I guess. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just my own experience, but like, there's, I don't know. It's just such an uncreative way for them to, to, <laughs> keep this thing going if that's their you know if that's their objective it's like it's like the it's like they're pay to win scheme uh vortex keep going throw another hundred dollars lisa lou whatever and uh it's like dude you know there's creative ways that you can keep him doing what he's doing or whatever but then you just throw money at it just like he fucking throws money at wwe champions it's lame man yeah whatever. i mean it takes yeah, a very special money, kind of mental state right to like just give money to a streamer to keep this going for what you know, I mean, like, what's the point, I guess. But I guess that is true. What other streamer, though, could you give $100 and and keep all this nonsense going? You know, right? Like, that's a lot of power they have, kind of, right? Like, no, no, if, mean, if they he, value I, the, their being the circus, you know, they're keeping the circus alive, literally. You know what I mean? He's not going to st- stop streaming. See, the thing is that you've got people who are genuinely, like, pig- pignotized. People like Haseo, for example. People like yeah. Slayer. They're going to keep this thing going themselves. They're they're like the they're the they're the actual passive income. They are they're completely immune to any sort of like attrition from detractors. They 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 live in this like shell, and there's only one way out, and that's like a tube where their dollars are going, and it's going straight to DSP, right? <laughs> and so there's no way to stop that. But the 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 fucking the fucking weird like OIC type shenanigans that that's the that's the actual weird shit because it's like they don't seem to understand that that's the case. DSP is never going to stop streaming, especially considering that he does have people like Haseo, guitar player nineteen forty four or whatever the fuck it is. You know that's yeah, the, yeah, those yeah, type yeah. of people. Yeah, and and they're he's fine. Like he, you know. Maybe he'll have to downsize. I don't know. Maybe he'll have to downsize his fucking wife. But like, hey. he's not going to stop streaming. He's not. What's he going to no. fucking do? Fucking dumb, man. Yeah, that, the, yeah the, he, he can't live without it. Yeah. That, that's the thing they, they fail to understand is like, in a way, uh, big ups to Oathkeeper for the super chat who brings it up. So Phil's fans are enablers in a sense. They do enable him because yeah. the more they sustain him the smaller chance there's going to be that he would ever stop doing this and find some sort of stability Mm -hmm. because he's going to get older. He's going to get lazier. He's going to get less capable of doing pretty much anything. And then the options become less and less and less. And he's still in this situation where like if he was sick or something and he had to go to the hospital for a week, he would probably be at risk of losing his house and he would have to have like multiple uh, fundraising events and shit. So they think they're helping out because he tells them they're helping out, but they probably shouldn't trust them a hundred percent and just think with their own brains. Well, that, well, how much is there, you know, with the people well, that really support, you know, it, it's still supplemental to DSP's brains that they're just taking <laughs> his opinions and consuming it. It's still at yeah. least something extra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, back to where we started this, co- this, this conversation on was uh, the threat, right? And he's, I'm tired right. of this. It was threatening me. Uh, guys, I don't know if you know this, but if you enter a gated community, you you go to jail. 
So you go right to jail if you enter the gated community. The, it's pretty the best strict. Part, the best part was the <laughs> sentence immediately following that where he said, and if you come into my house, that's a real If you try, bad idea. try to oh, break shit. into my house, you'll be very sorry. You'll be very said. sorry. Oh, you know, fuck. It's wait, you know what's waiting for you on the other side of that door? Hatchet. His fat wife. Fucker. Oh, oh, yeah. Hatchet. She got, like a, she got like a trip wire with a shotgun on the other end. So if you try breaking in, you're finished. Yeah. But in it, like, if somebody wanted to break into his house, like thinking about it objectively, if I, if I wanted to break into his house, I probably would make sure to like bring something with me that would help me in a combat situation. Let's let's just put it like that. So, uh, like him making all these like weird threats, it's like DSP. If somebody decided to to like go for it, they they would be prepared. So maybe don't mention stuff like that. I know, just don't be stupid. Just this is something you just don't acknowledge in any possible way like what are you doing you're trying to be this tough guy oh whoa i'm gonna you'll be i'll be sorry i better not do it if i'm this fucked up dude that's gonna do it like that's we obviously very fucked up thing to do and you should never do that never think about doing it but if anyone was going to think about doing it they're probably a little crazy and they're not gonna not have anything hey phil i'm breaking in your house yeah. patch it whoa i, I, I also i also want to <laughs> point out here that he has a schedule published for a week ahead <laughs> Yeah, but like there, there was there was like a there was like an old family guy episode where like Chris was being hunted by like some criminal. And then like Peter gives me he's like, oh, sorry, that's his like school schedule. And on the back is his like list of greatest fears or something like yeah. if someone was f fucked up to the point where they were going to like get you, they can get you walking out the front door like they can have their fucking watch set to it. I oh, know. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, like maybe you don't want to do that. And there was like so many easy ways to just no sell that super chat. You could have just read it and be like, oh man, well, tomorrow I'm not going outside. So good luck seeing me. That's yeah. it. That's say, it. Yeah. You could have made a funny a, joke out of yeah. it. Yeah. Say yeah. a joke. You're already too funny, Meerkat. That's out. You can't do that. Yep. He has any sense no, of yeah, humor. Get yeah. the fuck no out wit. of here. <laughs> no wit allowed. Sorry. <laughs> it's. Um, uh, it, uh, there, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's another topic. Uh, Okay, do, I say I like to dude, dude walks at an obtuse angle. What's he gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Well, that is true. His waddle over. Oh, are you trying to break to my house? Hang on. Waddle, mm -hmm. waddle, 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 waddle. Take the hatchet out of its case. Now I'm ready. Dual wielding, mm -hmm. bitch. Cat, get Jasper. Throw it at him. You know what it's gonna do. Anyway, go ahead, Mary. Uh, yes, his uh, his Dead Island two rant when he got <laughs> called very rightfully in a, in a very surprisingly intelligent way by an actual pay pig i don't remember exactly who it was i think it was some kind of japanese kind of name okay uh and it's a dude basically calling him out hey phil why are you a hypocrite when you want to read reviewers and what they say about the callisto protocol and call them idiots but when they say dead island is mid you follow their advice and you don't play the game Great, right, that was point. like the essence of it. Great he goes point. into this whole thing of like, "Hey, I have an opinion. It's called having an opinion." Blah blah blah. Oh, they called that. Uh, they called Callisto <laughs> Protocol a piece of shit. Blah blah blah. You know the same thing. The, the we, we all know the shit. Uh, he got toxic as fuck. It's basically all his opinion, and in the end, he just ends it. it this is like a ten minute segment. It's an actual ten minute clip. In the end, he just ends it by simply saying, "I'm not interested in Dead Island 2. <laughs> My guy, you could have just said this. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm playing the game i'm enjoying it i think it's great i paid for it full price which i don't normally do but i saw the reviews and they said it was pretty good and i actually watched them unlike him who just read the the title and the number below yes and i made up my mind i'm enjoying it i think it's great i would definitely recommend it oh, and cool. i also think it would have fit in his format because it's kind of relatively short and he could have just sped through it in a couple of streams or put it on a night stream as a new game and people would stop asking him and he would have a new game to play. But instead, he had to go into this weird, hypocritical, this is my opinion type of rant to justify just saying he's not interested in something. Dude, you cannot be interested in stuff. This is your stream. That that's not for him. That's not that's not okay because he's supposed to be covering everything, and he wants to be the guy with the finger on the pulse of all gaming. You know, like I'm gonna get I cover games. I cover cover them extensively. You know, and that's it. Also, questioning his decision making. That's 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 the real troll comment is questioning his decision making. Oh, mm -hmm. you, you're definitely get a ran out of those. That's how you get him to go for ten minutes and say like, I don't know what what were you thinking when you did that. What? 
I'm not allowed to have opinions. Why can't I be normal like everyone else? One said that they were asking like a very valid question. <laughs> yeah. Why? You, he... Why? It was on your behavior. It was. It was questioning. It wasn't like like he interprets it immediately as this like he, they're just like okay look I'm you know he gets like a non-zero amount of money from people who are just frustrated with him like they want to understand him but they can't because no human being can right yes and so they're like Dave what like these things are are they're not congruent with each other like you say this thing but you behave in this way I just want to understand like I want to I want to expand my breadth of knowledge on humanity and then he just goes in this fucking weird circular logic type of rant that goes nowhere and then they get more frustrated and then maybe they give them more money and they're like i don't understand what you're saying and like <laughs> and, and that that's the one thing about dsp that i can't get from any other lol cow it's the frustration it's the it's and and uh i think like review tech describes this like review tech's at this level where he's just frustrated with him but other than that he doesn't have he doesn't seem to have negative feelings in fact i think he wants to fuck him but outside of that <laughs> like it's this thing where you like how are you a human being and how are you as old as you are like how did you make it to your age and you still don't have this basic skill set of being a person where you can't even like self and you can't like self analyze this this completely the, the these two behaviors that just they don't go together and and you can't you can't fi and he can't figure it out you'll never figure it out and then you just leave like annoyed and that's it yeah yeah like well uh, yep. it takes a very special person to become this level of of not human right and he hits all the boxes right <laughs> like from 25, he started being a YouTube streamer that never left his house. And like that continued well, more, early, later than that, but whatever. 15 years now, let's say. Never leaving your house. And that's not a, a normal thing for a human to do, right? Is like never have friends that say, you know, when you say stupid shit, your friends are like, yeah, that's stupid, man. You know, yeah, they like, check you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just to say you're stupid, right? Like, you know, like that's really stupid. You know that, right? And you watch like a video, like you don't get it and everyone else gets it. That's his wife's job too, by the way. Yeah, but she, his oh, wife should, should be doing that. <laughs> she should. Like at this point. But it's so in, that's, you know, even uh, more so now. Don't you believe now that we know about the restraining order, all that bullshit. She was looking for any way out and Phil was the only no. choice she had. And that's it. There's no you think there's love involved there. Shut the fuck up. You think fuck that, no. you know, Jesus Christ. No, she had to go somewhere and she went there. And that was a bad fucking choice on her part. But that's what it happened. And now they can. not You know, oh, my God. Like, what you, I want to I would. The only thing we are talking about before, what we do if we snuck in, I would want to literally just, this is obviously hypothetical, record a dinner time together. How many words come out of each of their mouths? Five? Past the, past the butter, honey? Do, do snorts count? <laughs> like, you know? Do throat you know, clears count? I, I bet. Cell phone in one hand, fork in the other, one, and that's it for both no. of them. You that's assuming they eat in the same location, which is probably and she doesn't not take even her true. food into her fucking room. <laughs> yes, you know, drop it off, door, bitch. Oh, you got it? Sushi this time? Front of the door, bitch. Get yep. out. Da -da -da. Yep. Hear the white run music going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I uh, this is the the hill I'm gonna die on. I'm very convinced of this at this Go point. Ahead. I'm I'm gonna be a contrarian asshole. So uh, I think things are with their relationship are closer the to what he presents it as it is than to what the trolls present it as it is. I, I do think they are actually, I wouldn't say soulmates, but they're really like, they're really a good fit because they're both like, I'm 100% I'm against this. Go ahead though, please. The, the, they're both complete <laughs> fucking idiots. I've watched the girl's <laughs> streams when she's supposedly <laughs> herself. She got the same commentary, the same, yep. like, just like mm -hmm. this, the same thought process. It. It's just I've like, the, it. the, they're, they're just made for each other, man. <laughs> I, I can see that. No, I can I can absolutely see that. It's like um they're both so unaware of the world around them that it's like this thing where they both exist together in purgatory, you know? Okay, but but I don't think they have to have each other to ex do that existence. Right? Like I don't think they're like, "Oh yeah, let's let's do this thing together now." I don't think they and there's any aspect of that. It's right? it's As like when you it's it's like when you Okay, it's like let's say let's say you let's say you and your wife are like watching a video and it's like funny, like it's like a YouTube video, and you you like laugh and you you like look at each other and you're both laughing and it's like this shared moment. Yeah, I think with I think with them, yeah. with their relationship, 
they're both laughing. They're next to each other, but they're like, it's still kind of like themselves. So they're not laughing with each other. <laughs> they're both, they're both existing. Like they both think that I'm in a good marriage and, and you know, everything's paid for and I have my own condo and I'm an adult and shit, but there's like that connection that I don't think exists that, that may not be able to exist where you're like on that level because their brains are both fucked up or something. Yes. Right? Yes. So, I, I think that's very true. Yeah. It, yeah, I think you, you put it well enough. So, like, I think it's, like, I think it's roommate situation. Like, the best roommate, right? The, the best roommates possible, right? They don't bother each other. We all get, what our, our, you know, minimal needs met that we want together of interaction, which is very little. Because if they wanted to have time together, there would be time together. But neither of them seem interested in making time together. And Phil is doing mm. actively everything he can to stay in that room, right? That, that Actively, he wants to be in the room rather than be with his wife. And let's get real. And days off once a week, go to the grocery store, got to go to Pet Smart. Cat's not going anymore. Get the fuck out of here. That's not things that people like each other do, right? You do it together. Come on, Meerkat, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> it's it's also like it's up to whatever you decide, like dynamics within the relationship or whatever. If If he's okay with going out by himself because it's faster and it's more practical, he can come back faster and she's fine with staying at home so is that just their thing that's true that I, I don't think that says much about their actual relationship it's just like those like moment to moment decisions you make it's just kind of casual stuff yeah i don't know we're getting, just getting way deep sorry sir Morris. we're getting super deep but i, I, mean, I this is in, <laughs> the, the interesting thing about him because he's like an actual yeah. case study because everything <laughs> he does is like super interesting to to uh, like do weird discussions like this about yeah, and it, it it's interesting <laughs> that we have a place to do them and that we do them. It's just interesting to to speculate. I'm I'm actually curious about. So you know he he does he does that thing where he's like you know she wants to I want to take her to the fucking zoo or go on a honeymoon or whatever. Yeah, Mike, I'm curious how much of that like is she is she actually so much of a homebody that she really doesn't give a fuck? Like Dave, don't don't take me anywhere. It's fine, which is fine, you know. Or, yeah, some people are like, is, yeah, yeah. or is it a thing where she's waiting for the honeymoon to happen, like to Japan or something? And he just keeps like Ugh, pushing I, it along. Oh, please, and I mean, you want to talk about you want to talk about love, right? If if it were if it's if we're to take him at face value that she wants to do these things, he's unwilling to put in the the effort to make them happen. I mean, outside of the fact that he's throwing money away that can be used towards these things, again, we're taking him at face value here, right? So this is just like an outsider's perception of yeah. what his he's saying along with his behavior. There's steps that he can take to make these things happen. And I just think that if he had that connection, like he actually loved her in, in a way that we would, you know, commonly think of, he would make that happen and he doesn't. And so my dude, perception dude, whoa, as, as go ahead, real quick, you are, we are all overthinking it. If, if there's any aspect of love, he wouldn't blow off her birthday, blow off her anniversary, blow course. off Valentine's day. All these things are, Again, are even I, under that. Right. 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 Again, yeah. this is, this is face value where he's like, yeah. Oh, we just, we just both, uh, for, I mean, there's people who don't put a lot of stock in the holidays and shit. True, sure. True, true. Whatever. You know, I don't give a fuck about my own birthday, but like, you know, so again, I, I'm I'm giving him every possible benefit of the doubt that he says. Oh, yeah. we both forgot. We're both busy. That then, like, oh yeah, understandable. I have a dent in my head. I get it, dude. But <laughs> then you, you know, he just keeps like saying that you know, if we had more money than this and that, I'm just like, make it happen, man. My mom had to fucking work two jobs and shit to like get stuff for for her kids. You know, people do that all the time. It's, it's like. Your 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 situation is a lot less bad than a lot of other people's situation who live in first world countries. I'm not talking about fucking Uganda or some shit, right? Yeah. People just work extra to get shit done for the people that they love, and he's unwilling to put the effort in. And that's yes. that's my perception yep. of it. Yeah? yeah. That's the best way to say it. I would also say they had their honeymoon already. When they went to get married, that was their honeymoon. They went there for free. They ate for free. They had a hotel for free and they got pocket money for free. And he walked away with a 
with a the wedding gift of what was it like four thousand dollars worth of that his tax mo- money that his mom wanted to go to a honeymoon. Never forget that point. His mom oh, wanted yeah. it to go to yeah. a honeymoon, but failed to talk her out of it. So imagine that's your son, right? Yeah, yeah. I know he's got tax money. It's a bigger deal. But your mom say, "Hey, I have four thousand dollars. I want you guys to have fun with it. Fuck this money. Go have fun with it. Make a memory you'll never forget." Phil said, "Nope, got to use for taxes." That was the saddest shit ever, man. That's the set. That's that's what you don't want your offspring to say to you. You know, yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, man. That's a like, successful um, business. Successful businessman does not have to say know. that to his mo- mother. That's and, brutal, man. <laughs> I mean, anyways, it's a good good conversation about that. But it, it's, we'll never know the truth. Probably, all I can say is, in piggybacking off what Peace Peace said, if. Phil loved Cat in what way that normal people might say they love each other. There are so little steps, not even let's say work extra, work less and say goodbye to literally $10 a month. If he stopped doing those daily wraps, daily faps, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it, he probably makes $3 from those a month. And that's add that up a month. That's that's probably what? How many hours? Eight hours? Twenty hours? I don't even know. That's time he could be spending with his wife, but he chooses not to do that for no reason other than to stay up there in the office and be there longer to not interact for whatever reason. Um, but anyways, enough about that. Uh, let's get into oh, and all, yeah, we talked about the the threat and everything like that nonsense. It's so easy just to ignore that, like Meerkat said. Oh, someone said something stupid. Don't read it, or you could put the stream to a halt. Pause the game. Talk for an hour about how tough you are and how you'd be yeah. oh if you come over here you'd be fucked up and watch out. <laughs> not even it. not read it. You can you can show people that you actually don't care about it and it doesn't get to you by just no selling it. You just, yeah. you just yeah. get that comment, you make a joke about it or something where nobody gets to remember what it is, and you just don't get too crazy, and that, that that's it. And you're gonna send the signal that you don't actually care about people saying stuff like that, so they shouldn't keep saying them because yeah. they're not gonna get a reaction. And he never learned that... optics management, right? That's yeah. the thing. Oh god, that's a big no. thing. <laughs> that's the main thing he should have learned. Like it's like you're saying, right? You can you can alter the viewer's perception of you just by selling it in a certain. Like I can't believe he streamed this long and never figured it out. Where it's like, if you don't want this thing to happen, you can alter your behavior in such a way that discourages it, and they don't even fucking realize what's happening, mm-hmm. right? It's all a fucking mind game. And he just like, he just can't. His EQ is so low. That he can't even control himself and the things that he says and the things that he does. Yeah. Yep. And it, Rambo yeah. said it best. Thanks. Thanks, Baxter. That um, D- DSP sucks at damage control. Rambo said that in that rant, that video a long time ago. And it's fucking true, man. And Rambo, Rambo brought the heat and still true to this day. Yeah. And the, the, that's the thing with like streaming is that you kind of create the, the reality on your streams to some extent. So let's see his stream. The chat is not on screen, so you can't say you can't see what people are saying in chat. You can't see what kind of super chats he gets because there's no pop-up, there's no text. You can't see the tips. So he gets to invent what is actually happening there. Mm-hmm. So yeah, unless mm-hmm. he acknowledges something, brings it up, makes it a big segment, it didn't even happen. Yeah. It, nothing for us to nothing for people to clip and sh- make this big shit deal. And the live stream is <laughs> private, so the chat's gone, right? From his yeah. own. Yeah channel and he he turned clips off on his own channel he set that option so you can't clip his channel from his channel anymore um no you that's that's a that's a really that's a really good point america i wonder right if he if he added his chat to his stream i wonder if that's one of those things that would eventually make force him to improve like if he confronted these things that he just hides now that he sweeps under the rug I wonder if he's capable of not being a fucking, at least being less of a giant piece of shit, at least to his, like all the begging and stuff is one thing, fine. But at the very least, he can't like hide what people are saying because his chat's still there. You know, when when you've got people saying, hey, what happened to the Kirby not tip? And he just leans in and it's disappeared. It's like, it never happened. He unalives yeah. people. He unalives <laughs> them. What they say, he's, he's like actually stalling, right? They yeah. disappear. What they said never happened. And then when people like pointed out, oh, that's a detractor. That's a detractor like thing. It's like fake and out of context and da, 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 da. So no, that's that's a very, very apt thing, Meerkat, I think, where he really does invent his own reality because of the way that he streams. Yeah. It's not talking about stuff. It's so so simple. And he just so selectively does it. And he does it in the weirdest times, you know? It's just, I don't know. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if you intended to make a pun when you said he was Stalin, but he really is Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I'm not that clever, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Which shit. Okay, real quick to finish up, I thought it'd be fun to put a little, I put a little bit of a, a bullet points from the year in review so far. We are a quarter way through, excuse me, 33%. Dude, uh... Through this the the year, British yeah. dudes aren't here today, so I don't know uh, when it's time to take a, a bathroom break. So I'll take it now. Yeah, go ahead now. Because usually I'll, it's when I'll, I'll they start talking about British stuff. I just like <laughs> <laughs> me and Pizza Piece talk about British stuff. Have you ever seen the British okay. Office p- piece of piece? Have you seen the British Office? I, I'm afraid I haven't. I've only seen the American, the bastard. God damn it! God damn it! Yeah, me too. We need some British. Just talk to, to your, talk just, about. just talk to yourself uh, about British Office, like your DSP. You know, <laughs> like the. So let me tell this straight. Let me get this straight. So it's yeah. like the Office. It was like the original. So like it was like the first one. So like they didn't have any kind of basis, like the American one did. Okay, sound good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyways, hold, hold on. Let me get this guy out of here. <laughs> Let's get the guy out of here. Okay. So anyways, British Office. It was the original, right? They didn't have this other show to base it off of, like the American one did. Like, you know, the American one is like Michael Scott and that this is a little different. So it's not really like that. Uh, it's in an office, right? That's why they call it the office. I don't know if you knew that. Some people don't know, but the office is, is office is usually where business take place. Like you, if you want to do some work, right? Like you want to go to maybe like do some paperwork or something. You usually do in this office and it's usually like these buildings. Okay. So like the buildings, I don't know if you know this, but building is kind of like a dwelling, kind of like a, you don't really live in buildings. Well, you can in apartment buildings sometimes, but not really. <laughs> I don't know if you, okay. Oh, sorry. Somebody was asking in the chat what apartment. Okay, apartment is a place where you do live. That's not important here now though. So let's get back to the office. Okay, I'll stop. Meerkat's back. <laughs> I could do that for like yeah, an hour. You're, you're fucking crushing it, man. <laughs> I could probably go for an hour. <laughs> but anyway. you actually did did like a gimmick segment. What? Yes, we did a quick gimmick. I, no, I did. It was out of nowhere, spontaneous. P said I should talk about the office by myself, like B, DSP did. I, that's what I did. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, real quick, let's go through the year in review and let's talk about the bullet points. So January, new year, new life. Here we go. Uh, shorts are the new strategy, my friends. Shorts are hype. So every chance I get, every day a new short's coming out. And I'm going to oh, tell you goodness. why they're funny the next day. That's the best part. Next day, here's why it's funny. So <laughs> that's that's totally gonna done, done, done and dusted now, right? What's the last short? The short's coming out. What's the frequency now? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I'm actually going to check right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to check it out too. Please, what's the frequency we get shorts now? Because in January, it was daily for a little bit there. Shorts. So let's see. Oh, there How was a this... brand new one, actually. Ooh, he just hype. keeps going. I guess because people just keep making them. So why not just keep going? But it yeah, doesn't say yeah, date. That's true. They're just they're shipping it over, right? It's a fucking assembly yeah. line. Okay, so they're still going. But anyways, this is when they're really hype. Is a real. It's gonna save the business because he was talking about it on every fucking pre stream was like short, 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 short. Um, then also in January we had the famous um, uh, someone didn't pay a bounty in a game where like, if you get ten kills, I'll give you fifty bucks. Someone didn't pay that, and oh man, he wasn't a man. You're not a man, and paying up your bounties. You uh, fucking asshole. So then, what do you know? It, <laughs> Go ahead, Mirka. We, we got a great quote. I don't want dishonest people on my stream. <laughs> and he was just banning people or promising to give him money and then not giving it. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. And oh 2040, easy money. <laughs> he so, was counting him like an actual stripper, man. He was sitting oh, there being like, God. okay, yeah. I can five I just, kills. Okay. I can <laughs> licking his thumb and just going... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Dave. <laughs> Lick. Got it. <laughs> and that's what he was like. He this is what you saw Phil try, which is very rare. He was trying in those games. Oh my god, you've never seen Phil go gamer mode, you know? Hunched over. Oh shit. All right, I'm in this. First place 100 mm. bucks. Fuck yeah. And he would get, oh, by money. <laughs> true true salt came out then. Then what do you know a week or two later though? bounties trolls are saying this shit so you know what it doesn't matter what the trolls say i'm gonna change it to challenges though okay they're challenges now and that lasted less than a week and then it was gone because not because of it it was breaking tos because trolls are making a big deal out of it so you know that goes whatever his his explanation was that trolls are falsely reporting him because of bounties to youtube and that (laughs) And it's going to like, it's like fake breaking TOS. So we're just going to cut out that nonsense now and rebrand it to something. Yeah. Just, 
Fuck you. <laughs> and I'm going to stop like, not breaking TOS. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess his whole way of making that make sense is because there is this narrative that he's been punished in the past for things he's never done. So, and, and they happen through people erroneously reporting him on stuff. So this is mm-hmm. one of those things. So he <laughs> still needs to be cautious about it. And Bounty earned its uh, place in the uh, banned words list in, in Phil's chat, by the way, because of that. So Bounty's no longer <laughs> to be said. Bounty's oh a gosh. bad word, by the way. Uh, also, like this January, uh, remember the interview saga started in 2022, but this is when he's explaining at this point how I don't need to do interview anymore. Not important. He started talking about how he turned down Mr. Metoker. And also Destiny at this point was like, remember Destiny plays a game when he interviews people. He's like, I, I want to focus on me. I mean, what is he doing? You know? <laughs> I mean, that is kind of weird. That's that's but, true. I, I agree. But like how he said it was like, I want it's just kind of funny. Like, I want all it depends on the bitch. nature of the interview, I guess, yes. you know, yeah. like the what what he was looking for. Like he needs he needs all the attention. I mean, he always needs all the attention, doesn't he? But yes, in this yes. case, he, he also needs all the attention. <laughs> It just sounded funny, like coming from Phil talking to Destiny, like critiquing Destiny, you know. And obviously, everyone can critique it wherever they want, but if it's coming from Phil, it's extra funny, you know. Like when he critiques anybody, it's just funny, you know. Mm-hmm. Like he gives them business advice and stuff. It's like okay, yeah. okay, thanks. Even when he's right, it's just not <laughs> like I, I can't really take it seriously coming from him because <laughs> yeah. I could usually just turn that criticism against him and be like, "Hey, Phil, you do the same thing." There we go. There's yeah. also while we're on the interview uh, situation, there was. Yeah. Uh, a recent segment that I want to mention, he brought up like how people think the interview went really bad, but it actually did exactly what it was supposed to to do <laughs> because uh. and and try and make sense of this. The negative people they went to the drama outside of his streams, and now he's left with just him and his loyal <laughs> fan base that are just there and chilling. That was like the segment I I replayed it like four times. I could not make sense of it all. It just sounded like a pure, raw, unfiltered cope. Oh Absolutely. my god, that's a you need a map to figure out that take. <laughs> it just it's just amazing the uh, the difference from you know r- immediately following the interview how well he thought it went. You know, uh-huh. like in general, he completely flipped. He's like, I hate interviews. I'll never do one, never. And then now it's just like it's this thing where he's like, I've written it off, guys. You know, it did what it was gonna do. And now we can move on positively. And it's just like the cycle just repeats, doesn't it, Dave? It's it? hilarious to watch. If you want something to watch on any stream for 15 minutes, watch the the decompression of Phil after the interview before he, anything negative happened. He is on cloud nine. Oh, that was great. Oh, man, it was awesome. I can't wait to be a part. Remember, you thought he was going to be a part of their fucking show, dude? It was so funny, <laughs> Remember dude. that shit? It what happened? So what happened, Dave? It's funny. It is so funny. He's like, yeah, we're going to do some silly stuff. I'm going to get normal. I mean, you know, can't wait for part two. It's so good. God, it's oh so God. good. Fucking vomit, dude. <laughs> All right, February. Let's go through here. February, we got the Super Bowl event, my friends. This resulted in him rage quitting Tech Mobile extremely tough game it's basically dark souls of football games we all know that everyone knows that and he rage quit tech mobile uh then he valentine's day comes and of course valentine's day gets fucked up why do we you know you know that goes just a normal normal holiday that phil has to fuck up uh then he can't get into ivy league schools we get this brand because he's white and he's not connected let, let, let me list off the things he's done though guys he's had High honors, community service, advanced classes, and various clubs. And he still couldn't get in with all that. Why do you think he couldn't get in with all that stuff, guys? It's tough. It's been tough. He, uh, okay, assu- <laughs> assuming that he assuming that he actually sent applications in um, to Harvard or the fuck he was applying to. <laughs> Doubtful I, 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 I wonder how many of those things he... Because like one of one of the things you have to do is write like a personal essay when you send those in. I bet he just mm-hmm. completely fucked it up. I just I, I bet like like you can have all the fucking honors and shit in the world if your personal essay shit. They're like fuck this guy. Yeah, exactly. Sh- and show me the know, word file, Dave. He's not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know he's not reading that shit. You know they have very specific things you got to set talking. She's like, I'm not reading that shit. They'll take this. What I did uh, what they asked. You know what? I wrote my yeah. I wrote a paper. He probably said like dear. Dear Yale in every fucking one and like didn't change oh the name, God. you know? <laughs> Sent it to Harvard. Dear <laughs> Yale. 
right maybe, to the maybe it was like just way too fucking long and they didn't want to read like six yeah. pages worth of yeah. six like, page pre-stream yeah. or or there was like a word limit that he like ignored because like <laughs> if you don't follow the standard formatting they're like they're done they're like dude this guy can't even follow basic ass directions i yeah. just fucked up the formatting on every single one like that fuck this guy I wonder but if how he got an interview, he'd fuck that up too. Oh god, yes. I wonder how important he thought he was at this point. This is before all the streaming went right to the heads. I wonder. But he, you know, he we know he's a narcissist, so he probably was thinking he's very important and they should just take him based on merit alone. Mm. Uh, but anyways, didn't get in there. Unfortunately, he wasn't urban style. If you were urban style, you get in though, and you're good at sports. You come on in. White, white though, not connected, get the fuck out. Uh, this is also the month of the sexy fridges in atomic hearts, my friends. <laughs> classic yeah. <laughs> and the magical another less known moment was when he gets to the the not the fridge but the the two girls that are kind of sexy body style robots and he starts looking around the room <laughs> he starts looking really? at the they're talking directly to your character and you're supposed yeah. to be looking at him he starts looking at the ceiling starts looking oh at the God. walls <laughs> shit's whack man and he makes comments like, oh, wow, how did this get here? Wow, look at this environment. It's like really cool. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Dave. the best. <laughs> if it makes him uncomfortable, why doesn't he just stop making it so obvious? Right? Know. You know, like, com like, it can make you so uncomfortable, but just fucking look at it straight on. Act normal. Put on your put on your fucking poker face. Yeah. Move on. But he you can't can even look do that. At something like and not be looking at it. It's not yeah. that hard. It's not that hard, dude. <laughs> Here's the thing though. If cat is what people speculate to be, so like a jealousy beast, oh. then he needs to react in a negative way. Otherwise, oh. it indicates that he's he's interested in those sexy digital uh, robots in a video the game. The implication not then real. is that she watches his streams. In that case, isn't it? Well, he, he did say no she watches away. the reacts or at least a part of them. And maybe she was watching because with that thing, you never know when she can be watching. So you always need mm, to give a negative true. reaction to women because maybe she's going to be lurking. I also think see. Phil might be scared of trolls contacting her in her because what we that way way to contact her we know of. But she does have her Twitter account. And you know, those DMs and I wonder if they're locked, but somehow they could send the clips and stuff to her i guess he could be worried about that you know like this is such if a there was a way web of autism man holy <laughs> exactly. shit exactly literally uh in this case and uh, it's it but but one thing i will say about the, that notice when cat it during like one of the cat reveals um someone mentions remember that story you told about that college girl and you can see it i put it on the discord cat goes into the switch is flipped it's anger yeah. mode it's uh, she sits back in a chair like really oh okay, yeah i see that i didn't know that <laughs> i didn't see it's that actual, like I, I, cartoon yeah. anger face it, yeah yeah exactly yes it's so over the top oh that's even, super it, interesting it makes oh, me okay. think too it puts some credence to the autism thing even more for me no no like, that that, that thing, actually yeah. would because yeah. i've always been kind of like looking for i don't know objective evidence of that but that that sounds like a good lead. Uh, <laughs> it's I, I I think Jenna is objective enough. I trust her not not because she's my Kool Aid girl, but because <laughs> I've seen some of the videos that she's put on Instagram. She seems like well put together enough to be coherent and understandable and like sure, seem sure. kind of normal. So if she yeah. says they both have the Aspergers, then they probably do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also so she said that her mom had cat in the toilet, which is. A thing that she said. I'm not making this up. Well, there's there's uh, a deep hole to be dug there in terms of the demons, exorcism style stuff in the past. If you go on the agricultural website, you can see more about that information. I've never been there myself. I've heard it though, but uh, never been there. Never checked it out. But there's a deep hole to be dug there someday for anyone that wants to. You can go check it out. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Anyways, it, well, clearly, Cat gets pissed at the mention of other girls. Clearly, feel worries about that intensely, very intensely. Uh, he used to be able to say, oh, look at those tits. Oh, my God. Whoa, tits. Thanks, Kojima. Love the tits. I mean, that was just a normal saying. In every stream, there was a girl who was about the tits. I mean, that's I'm not making that up. <laughs> just... and, and he was calling all of them a, a bitch. Oh, Everybody yeah, was bitches. a bitch. Oh, God, oh, you yes. fucking bitch. Yes. Beat in Street mm -hmm. Fighter, if you're playing a girl, oh, stupid bitch. You know, he's happy to say bitch. That's just, that's what he called them. Mm. Anyways, Officer Sanders. Shout out to Officer Sanders. Good point. Um. <laughs> Also during this month, we had the um, 
This is when he started getting into this. Is, I'm, I'm only saying this because I think this is why the interview happened. And this month, he was in maximum worried about his public perception, right? So remember, we know that Sir Moise really wounded him with the scorn thing that really set him off. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm really working. This is at the time when he started complaining about people all the time, like almost every week. It was the off day we get to talk about how I was watching this other streamer and, and they were making like four times as much as me. But they were totally sucked at this game, dude. They were like doing it much worse than me. And he kept that was a regular recurring theme during this month. So I think oh, he, yeah. was, he was really yep. pissed about how what people thought of him. What's the DSP of, of the public? It was really oddly something he worried about this month. And I just mentioned that because this is when he, he it, the, it, we're getting working our way to the interview happening. Mm -hmm. uh, also, this month was a pro Jared react. And just one quote here I think is funny. People jump into marriage too quickly and don't understand the commitment they make. So that's from DSP's wise Except for words. DSP. Oh, oh, please. And please, also, please. apparently <laughs> marriage is for life. So you, you can't not be married no. after you get married. That's oh. impossible, apparently. Definitely not. There's so much gold there, but we got to move on. Let's get to March. And uh, this is when he, the announce the 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 uh, interview is announced, right? So it gets announced in a, a first side scroll was break it. Remember, DSP told them, please don't announce it beforehand. Please don't announce it beforehand. Yeah. Craig said, fuck you. I want to get more people watching this shit. So I'm going to mm -hmm. tell them. And that's what started it all. So then then we get into he's pissed. He, DSP was talking every week about how he's pissed that detractors made this be a not normal interview. He couldn't get into the silly games and nonsense they do in the interview because of the detractors now. So it's our fault that he couldn't be a normal guest. Not his fault at all. Not all the 15 years of toxicity, insane mm -hmm. begging. None of that stuff matters. It's all our fault, guys. So we ruined that magical moment for Phil. Moving on. Um, and also this, oh my God, this is, I was going back and I thought this, this is so incredible. This is why, you know, I said on the show many times, and you guys agree with me, making fun of Phil, there's zero ounce of feeling bad for him, right? No, you agree? No. Okay. So this is why yep. Phil, Phil's going to pig explain that to you right here. Phil is a law cow that is to be hurt and no one has to feel bad about it. Why you might ask? Well, because people have said so many bad things about him that some of them have to be true. I'll say it again. The reason why we don't, have to, we don't people don't feel bad about making fun of me, DSP is what he's saying there, is because people have said so many bad things about him, people think some of them must be true. I, I figure the reason is that he's been given so many chances to improve and be better on a damn near daily basis. Oh, yes. And he still is the same guy. You can watch... Because I've been watching some vintage Tevin videos from like 2017, 18. He's still the same dude. He cuts yeah. the same wrestling promos that have zero outcome as he does today. He's putting his foot down for like the the last like 10 years. <laughs> He's the same dude. I'm tired of it. I'm coming for you. All right. Next, he uh, why he begs, by the way, he talks about this during the interview. This is during a special stream where he says like, Craig, if you want to play this on your stream, that's totally cool. I mean, just to get people ready. I, mean, I totally give you permission. Like he's going to we're going to play an hour long rant of yours. Uh, the, the, the thinking people want to see this rant was pretty funny. But he says the reason he, he, he has to beg, though, is because detractors, of course, detractors, those dirty detractors. Uh, he has good things going on in his life. And then we fuck up his finances. Yeah. I don't know how many of those credit cards you opened up yourself, uh, Peace and Meerkat, or or myself. We we opened up all those thirteen credit cards. We moved across the across the country, bought a huge house you didn't need. All that stuff, all detractors' fault. Who needs it? Anyways, next he gets to the talk about. Hey, we are going to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the interview, but all you guys watching now, you gotta know all the responses. It might not be that interesting to you because all the things we're gonna talk about. You know the answers too, so get ready for that. And uh, he has no fear. He has no fear about the interview. He says this is going to be a focal point in the future going forward. If you want to hear DSP's responses to the questions that everyone asks, you're going to have this interview to look forward to. Uh, you're Isn't that what the debunking video was for, though? <laughs> Maybe so. Okay. <laughs> and also, he said, "I have nothing to gain or lose from this interview. I'm just doing it kind of a fan service." So this is a fan service now interview. Thank you. I like how after this segment, during the interview, he had this whole segment. Here's things people don't know about. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then we get to the interview itself, of course, uh, which was late March. And um, 
we could go into another two hours about that, but I guess we should get piece of piece. What, 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 how did you enjoy the interview? Did you watch the whole thing? One thing did you watched the clips. What were you thinking during that time? Let us know your interview take. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I was, I was, uh, I was watching it live. It was, uh, I was reacting live to some parts on Twitter. It was, it was unbelievable. It was a uh-huh. shit show in by, in like a magnitude I've never witnessed. I think <laughs> at least with DSP, I don't know, but like, <laughs> It's like that shit where you're watching it and then you have to stand up out of your chair and start pacing the room a little bit. It was like yep. that like level of energy when I was listening to it. Like, no, exactly. no, 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 don't say that. Stop, stop. It was like that type <laughs> of shit. And then so uh so yeah, um no, it was it was uh it was good. I I enjoyed it. It was it was well conducted. I I do I did appreciate the fact that um Craig only had him and one other person. Yep. I, my concern was that he'd have too many people in uh-huh. the, in the thing, especially that one fucking dude, the Travis dude. Um, yeah yeah and so uh so yeah i think it was i think it was well well conducted well researched he stuck to his guns um and yeah i it's in terms of like its effect on the vortex seems i don't know pretty neg- negligible see yeah. the thing is that each time one of these things happen i think dsp actually takes like psychic damage and it's like accumulates over time <laughs> this is just another one of those fucking like hammers to his ego um i don't know at what point it all fucking shatters he's got a pretty goddamn big ego so maybe never but uh that's that's the best part about these things is that remember i talked earlier about like the frustration thing that helped alleviate some of that tension because it it effectively forced him to answer some like the the question i wanted to ask just straight up was like do you play wwe champions and he said yes and i was like okay good yeah. That was the that yeah that was the I mean it, it seems very simple but that's what I wanted that when when Craig DM'd me on Twitter and he said you know what should I ask him blah blah and we had a conversation uh, yeah the, the the last thing I typed him was just ask him one question ask him does he play WWE champions except only a yes or a no and you don't have to probe any further that's it yes yeah and he did probe further so he got even a little bit more juice out of that lemon but yes um but like that that was the satisfying bit everything else was just like you know cherry on top for me at least so yeah for for me like that that the, the big w was that fucking clip man when he brought up slave trade clip i was just i could not be in more yeah. ecstasy Absolutely. i was like what the <laughs> fuck standing up in my chair like oh <laughs> like like meerkat you did that too like you cannot stay sitting down i was like what the fuck <laughs> for me what got a massive pop was uh when he said that the leaks weren't his <laughs> apparently somehow even though anybody who knows like the the basics about it knows it's like 100 percent him and the other one was when they pulled up that uh the be awesome one clip when he was yeah. making threats and then adam <laughs> called him out on that and it was like it's not a threat it's me expressing anger in a threatening <laughs> manner no dude that's a threat well yeah I I agree with you. Here's why and I don't agree with you. And then, he, and then he's just and then he's just like every time they're like, Dave, you're doing this thing that's extremely wrong and hypocritical as well. I agree. Yes. Yeah. It's a oh, working okay. process, dude. Yeah. I'm only 40. That's I'm it. A fallible I, mean, I, got, human. I got my whole life ahead of me, man. <laughs> Anyways, we can talk about the email. Uh, yeah, the I, I think the yeah. curb stomp truly came when when they had Keemstar on. And DSP, he couldn't, mm. it was like yeah. a catch-22 because he couldn't leave because that would mean the trolls won and he pussied yeah. out of talking to Keemstar after being such a tough guy to Keemstar. Uh, but then Keemstar came and they just all called him out and were like, hey, so the documentaries you watch about this guy, they're all true and factual, but the ones about you, they're they're bullshit. And then he's like, yeah, man, that's really how YouTube good. works. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> And then, and then when he, and then when he tried to like play the 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 reverse fucking Uno card on him, like like you were saying, uh, ALT, where he's like, yeah. he's like, uh, he's like, uh, uh, hey, how do you feel? Like, can I ask you a question, yeah. team? How did you feel taking advantage <laughs> of two grown men with the ability to make their own decisions and earn money? It, it feels it feels pretty good, I guess. Next yeah. question. I love Keem came looking at like I don't care what you think about Keem. He came looking like the best businessman on the universe after that interview. <laughs> Just cool. So fucking cool. Phil is sweating back going nuts, you know, just going back and forth. Because <laughs> you know how Keem Star could have been. Because you you know like how Keem Star can be uh, when, yeah. when there's like an entertaining drama situation. But he restrained himself because otherwise it would look like a bunch of dudes just bullying DSP. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Yep. No. civil. Yep. Very it was, it was excellent. Yeah. The yeah. fact that they the fact that they kind of reined that 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 energy in was 
because at that point it's like he's literally in like a boardroom with people talking to him like they're all wearing suits and everything and he's just spurging out in the corner over there and everyone's like yep. hey we're, we're all trying to be adults here what's going on man you okay <laughs> it's like that type of shit um, unfortunately his dents can't see like they don't understand the difference between that type like the subtle the subtle types of of things like that they don't see right it's so you know it didn't make any sense there but it was at the end of the day the amount of entertainment that it provided to like his trolls or detractors or whatever was just like top notch it was absolutely immense, great immense yeah that's, that's yeah. a great point you said it is like it is like a room full of adults dealing with a child but you know you'd have to not be a child to see that so all his normal fans they don't see is there picking it up on you? Yeah, you know, but normal humans can see like, no, they're just being normal and ask you normal questions and you just scramble, flail around <laughs> like a drowning turtle for any question, you know, just looking for something to say, you know, it's like incredible. Yeah, I like I like this uh, chat comment by Innocent Orphan. A bunch of adults in suits and DSP and his <laughs> Zelda jammies. They're rocking back and forth. And he was actually rocking back and forth, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was like literally physically flailing around, if I recall. Oh, that yeah. Cool. That's his back pain, though. Please. Come on. Oh, his yeah. afflictions. He had his cool little like his, he has cool little background there with the, with the little <laughs> fucking pixel art and boxes and whatever the yeah. fuck else was there. It's like, dude. You're so cool. Man. Wolverine you. figure. As, as always, his uh, his volume was too low, so everybody else sounded normal, and he was just quiet. Oh yeah, because, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, get closer to the mic, man. I don't know. Do something. I, know. I think that he looks at OBS and he looks at the the volume bar, like the visualizing thing, and he's like, okay, if it's in the green, it's okay. If it goes over the green, it's uh, bad. Yeah, that might be the case. <laughs> that might he might think yellow is clipping or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know if he understands danger. what clipping is, but if he does, then maybe. Yeah, it says like such a. I don't know. Like, we're getting way deep now, but like the angle of the camera too just makes it look like everyone's looking down on him. Like you, you know, you want to be straight up <laughs> yeah. with your camera, and I, I I don't do it either. But you should be straight up on your camera, like eye to eye. But Phil was like looking down, like just the. It was just magic. Everything. Oh yeah, it. no, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's like everyone's just like we're talking to you. As, we're up here, and you're down there, not, not punching down, but we're just asking you questions, and then he's just scrambling to get out, and then the email after. Everyone, you know, DSP, you deserve to get on level two from Craig. Oh my god! Oh, it's one of those things where you can watch it as like its own kind of like a mini series and always mm. notice new things about it. It's great. Awesome. We believe like you this can get to level and two. their their reaction, like the post show that they did, like the next day, and yep. when DSP reacted to that one, uh, you can yeah. just watch those endlessly, and it's great. Yeah, it's yep. like a three act like movie almost. And yeah. I think I think you're right, Peace, what you said, how it just wounded him and it kind of cut at the ego. Cause I think this all started this whole year of now Phil is like everything you say, even compliments get rants, but like it started with Sir Moist, and then this happened. And then like let's say the second the 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 backstabbing of a strat score, yeah. which wasn't a backstabbing, but that was the ultimate. Oh man, that hurt him, and he's still flailing out to this day about this and about that. And it's 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 we've gone to level red in terms of I'm worried about my legacy. I'm worried about everything. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no sense of safety at all in anything he does. He's just worried about everything. And uh, then I get to April real quick. And um, hey, April's when the, tra the tractor channel started going down because of some reason. And um, also wanted to mention this is when we get the mommy tax story out of nowhere. When uh, uh, one we just mentioned earlier, how mommy did say, "I want to send you guys on a honeymoon," but Phil said, "No, mommy, just brush my hair. I don't want the honeymoon. I want to pay my taxes off." And that was it. Did I miss anything from this year? I don't think so. But did I miss anything? I mean, there's small stuff I could talk about, but yeah, the, there's a lot of small stuff. But I think you covered everything. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. So that's the year so far is an A plus, though. I think now we're in the kind of the lull. Writers are kind of taking the time off right now. I feel, but this year so far has been incredible. Our next arc is coming soon. I feel, but that's how it works around here, my friends. But with that, we are going to end the show. Thanks so much, piece of piece, for joining us. As always, smooth as silk guest. Adding awesome thoughts, awesome takes. You are a legend, my friend. I'll put your channel, but what can we expect? When's your next stream? Let us know. Anything you want to let us know. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Today or tomorrow or someday. I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. Sub to me if you uh, care. Uh, yes. I stream randomly at nighttime. Go <laughs> sub to him now. Meerkat, any final words? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the pre-stream today. Sweet. And that's that's about it. Maybe do something else after that. I'll see how it goes. But big ups, uh, piece of piece for joining us. This was a great uh, 
a great episode. Even though Steve is gone, Sam is gone, ALT pulled up on the back end, and we did it. We guys. did our best. We did our best. Good time. Made it. I appreciate it, guys. Yep, you're definitely coming back, please, someday in the future, my friend. So let's get, let's uh, send it out. Thanks, everybody. everybody. And I'll we'll, use him to Sam right now. Uh, say, final but... uh, big ups. Yes. Uh, Showtime for becoming a member. Legend. Everyone that's a contributor is a legend. If we forget you, trust me, I love you. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat. Big ups. I first saw you in Burger King. You took two seats cause that ass is way too big. Had a boyfriend I realized, but you told him lies with your raccoon eyes. The DoorDash is here. Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Tevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Raccoon eyes Tevin I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this, this stream gets 100 likes or two.